Hello everybody and welcome to another 3B Radio actual play live stream. Tonight we're doing something entirely different. We are doing Wrath and Glory, which is the 40k RPG by Cubicle 7. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, RPG companies. And I am thrilled to be diving into the 40k universe. Um, Cubicle 7 is actually the second company that buys this particular license. There was some issues with Wrath and Glory when it first came out. And uh, it was a Russian company, I think, that had it at first, and uh, it has now moved over. Uh, tonight's game, we're doing uh, Kill Team Bravo, which is going to follow a squad of five uh, Primaris Space Marines and a Junior Inquisitor as they attempt to uh, uncover exactly what is going on on the war-torn planet of Stenktas. Sten um, it is currently in the middle of a green skin log, and they are uh, in orbit. We're actually going to be running them through a training mission so that everybody can get a, a little bit familiar with the rules. Um, but before we get into any of that, let's go ahead and start introducing our uh, players. So um, this is on me, guys. It's kind of like a pop quiz. You should have a 30-second introduction for your character. Uh, oh. Diego, go. 30 oh, seconds, God. Diego. Okay. Um, because I know I am, bro I am Brother Dong Li of the Raids of Long as Salamander's primary successor chapter. Um, we're focused on glory and honor and the sleeping dragon and Vulcan. And um, Brother Dong Li is uh, particularly new, so he wants to earn glory for the Primarch and the chapter. I like it. Well done. Uh, we'll go over to uh, Jake next. Uh, I'm Jake. Uh, I am playing Alexei Fedorov, former Imperial Guardsman, who was uh, inducted into Ordo Xenos because death to the enemies of man. Uh, he is probably a little too serious for his own damn good, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the tie-in for uh, uh, for the plotline in terms of Sterling and all that, so that we can have great drama. <laughs> All right, next up we have Skull, which you guys might remember who played uh, Vlad and Alias. You only changed twice, right? Just twice. Yeah. And he's also been on our uh, Avatar the Last Airbender one-off, and I think that's it. Yeah, I am playing uh, Savitar Resnick, and uh, I am playing the group's resident chaplain. My backstory is basically I apprentice under the illustrious uh, Grimaldus of the Black Templars. And he was just like, yeah, you're doing good, kid, but uh, go join the Death Watch, which uh, my character kind of resents. He's like, you know, there's no glory to be had in the Death Watch. This is all nonsense. I could be serving uh, the Emperor better by being next to my true blood battle brothers. But at least there's, you know, another fellow son of Dorne here who's got some, like, fixed paper up for me. So it's going to be <laughs> Uh, next up, we have Julio, which is essentially the 3B Radio good luck charm. He's been in, well, everything. You're muted. Good, because what I said was really dumb. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Julio, as uh, some of you might know. Uh, I'll be playing uh, Brother Tui from the Carcharodons, who uh, was inducted into the Carcharodons from uh, the Mantis Warrior homeworld. Uh, at a very young age, obviously, um, he was a part of the the Red Tithe, um, and um, yeah, he joined the Carcharodons. Uh, did really well because he was very angry at being taken, um, so much so that he was actually reaped as he was charging at, um, at one of the the Reaper, uh, the, the Captain Ch Reapers with a makeshift spear. Um, Eventually, he grew to enjoy uh, the, the perks of being an Astartes, namely, you know, finding new things and eating them. Um, <laughs> uh, and eventually, when he was uh, asked to, hey, maybe you would like to join the Death Watch, uh, he, the first thing that went through his mind was like, ooh, fancy new seniors, delicious. <laughs> and here he is. So before we go any further... Um... <clears throat> What's Alexi's uh, thoughts on Tui eating the bad guys? That's going to be a uh, a question mark. <laughs> That's going to be a question mark. Just... 
<laughs> That's going to be a... Hashtag concern. Uh, uh, next up, the person to make sure that Tui doesn't get indigestion from everything he's eating, Eddie. Hi, everybody. My name's Eddie. I will be playing Brother Ricardo Ochoa, a member of the Crimson Fist successor chapter. Um, chapter made up of mostly level-headed Marines um, who have an odd knack for constantly finding themselves in heroic last stand situations. That's their shtick. They are always outnumbered. Um, he was an apothecary when the largest org wa attacked his home planet, nearly annihilating the chapter, crossed the Rubicon Primaris, and after surviving the battle, decided or was uh, offered a position in the uh, in the Death Watch. Um, thought to himself, well, I can kill more orcs this way. Good. Yes. <laughs> I, sign me there. Um, he is the resident apothecary, meaning that it's going to be my job to attempt to keep all of these, all of my brothers, plus Inquisitor, Inquisitor, soon to be one, that one, alive. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so... <clears throat> Out of curiosity, how many times do you have to find yourself outnumbered before it becomes tactical, uh, a, a, a flaw in tactics? Instead of a... There's no flaw in tactics. We've never lost. Never lost. No flaw. No flaw. It was meant to happen. This is not supported by the Codex. <laughs> if, it, if it kills more green skins, why question it? All right. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so we are currently missing our fifth Marine. He's running a little bit late, but that's everyone's favorite uh, Furbolg, uh, Davius. He's playing Gareth of the Sons of Medusa, a a Primaris aggressor. He's essentially the heavy hitter for you guys. Question, did he go Bolt aggressor or Flame aggressor? He went Bolt aggressor. I'm uh, so sad. He really wanted to go it. Flame aggressor. However, uh, I told him that... The bolt... So we're, we're going to be playing with uh, all guns have um, five times range. So it's more realistic ranges, mm. uh, which means Alexi will be able to shoot someone entirely off the screen. Alexi will never be at long range, um, because I think the biggest map we're working with is like forty hexes right now. Um, Sometimes you have to reach out and touch someone <laughs> in the head. Just deliver deliver this message from the emperor directly to their frontal lobe. <laughs> head Correct. on, slide directly to the forehead. <laughs> it's called please leave. Boom. <laughs> So, uh, before I get into more specifics about the game, let me go ahead and do our channel announcements. We have got, uh, as you guys know or do not know, the best way to support us is directly through our Patreon, where all of the maps that we will be seeing throughout uh, Kill Team Bravo, or at least this first adventure, are already up there. Uh, none of these guys are patrons, so they haven't seen them. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but also, new maps twice a week, and there's currently like 40-something maps up there. So if you're a DM, it's a really good way to get uh, just a crap ton of maps. And uh, they're pretty good maps, you know? I, I think I do all right. Uh, another great way to support us is merch. We have t-shirts, we have uh, cell phone covers, mouse pads, posters, stickers, decals. Uh, for all of our properties, uh, I am currently designing one for... Um, Four Brothers, which is our other Thursday night game. Uh, I don't think I will be able to do anything for Kill Team Bravo because IP, but uh, I will <laughs> we'll see what we do with that. Just the quotes. <laughs> uh, there is a couple of funny issues. It's just there. like uh, legally distinct stuff, you know, instead of like a Chaos <laughs> Lord is a, a Duke of Disorganization. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the last great way to uh, support us is that we are actually Hero Forge affiliates. So if you were going to spend money on Hero Forge anyway, and you think, man, I would love it if uh, 3B Radio got some of my money, uh, you can buy Hero Forge stuff through that link. And uh, whether it's an STL or a figure, we, we, we do get a portion of that, and we appreciate any support we can. Because with that support is how I continue doing crazy things like buying the foundry and, um, and, and more. Uh, in, 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 in all funniness, part of the money that 3B Radio makes goes into someone else's Patreon who make modules for the Foundry. Um, because that's the great circle it, of content creators. Uh, all right, so you guys are currently on board. The, uh, man, I know I named the ship, right? <laughs> You're currently on board the uh, Inquisitorial... Vessel. Can I name the ship? Vessel. 
the nuclear vessel. Is that the name of the ship? The nuclear vessel? The nuclear vessel. I oh, love it. Track, <laughs> Done. Done. No, I don't remember what I named it. That's fine, because you're not going to be on there for long anyway. But you guys are currently on board the, uh, the Inquisitorial vessel, and uh, one of the firstborn marines from Kill Team Alpha, a, uh, a black dragon marine by the name of Sarkin Garo, walks over to you guys' barracks. Uh, everywhere marines go throughout the ship, you know they are coming. Because the ships are, like, very stereotypically, like, aluminum-plated ships. Uh, and so, as the marines walk down the hallway, you hear, Stunk! 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 stunk. Um, and you hear people, like, getting out of the way. Because marines walk as if nobody's in their way, and you either move or get hit. Um, and so, you hear him coming before he gets there. Um, Alexi... While you are normally uh, sort of free form, and you typically work with the Hell Jumpers, you have recently been working with Kill Team Bravo, which are the Primaris Marines who are newly recruited to Inquisitor Sterwin's uh, retinue, and so you are there right now. Um, so Garo walks in. He's got black armor, black pauldron, with the black dragon symbol on it. But his armor has slits in it where large uh, metallic fins protrude that are actually part of his body. Uh, his helmet is clipped to his belt, uh, and you see that he is clean-shaven with several service studs across his forehead. And he says, <clears throat> All right, children. Inquisitor Sterwin has decided that the uh, five of you need to head into a training mission. We've got some uh, servitors ready to test out your abilities and see exactly if you are ready for more combat-oriented missions. The... He doesn't outrank us in any way, shape, or form. He's just like a more senior member of the Death Watch at rank, right? He does not. That's, he does not outrank you in any way, shape, or form. This is correct. That is that is a, a fucking serious insult. Like <laughs> this fucking comes in, children. Let's see if you guys are any fucking good. Uh, so what you know is that Kill Team Alpha are actually Marines who have been serving the Death Watch longer than they served their home chapters. Like these people came over. And they will return to their home chapters occasionally, but essentially Sterwin keeps them on permanent retainer. These guys are his elite guys. They have seen some shit. Uh, that doesn't mean that you, you have to forgive his disrespect. That is entirely up to you how you'd like to handle that. Oh, it's going in the book of grudges. <laughs> it's a little fucking I'm not book. going in the book. <laughs> I, I just, it's a very old book. I'm going to remember that shit. But fucking... He just he just started, but Severgar's like, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't remember that. That's a paddling. Um, <laughs> so, so he's not offended, like, uh, by the way. I... Just because like Karcharo does barely speak to each other, so he's not really like into the whole verbal communication thing. It's like, it's like words. It's like, uh, you know, why like, is he saying words to me? <laughs> Clearly, uh, our brother here has forgotten how to sp uh, speak to his equals, and uh, you know that's uh, four hail emperors, and uh, <laughs> he's just gonna have to do those in the in the chaplaincy whenever he gets back from his mission. So, uh, of the of all of the marines on board, uh, not counting uh, of the of the other squad, the black dragon is the least codex uh, following chapter uh, over here. You're all a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Some varying terms. Um, but anyway, you guys make your way over to the training area. And when you arrive, you see uh, Sergeant Tershan, who's the only one who actually does outrank you, um, in his Terminator armor, uh, standing at the front of the, uh, at the door into the training room. Sergeant Tershan is the leader of Kill Team Alpha, and he is the, uh, and he's from the Salamander chapter. 
So um, full on Terminator I just have armor. This image that Alexi's gonna have neck aches this entire thing because like these are all these like Primaris <laughs> yeah. like just... Marines and he's like a guardsman. Somebody pick him up, <laughs> put him on your shoulder. You just see. Uh, Hello, up there. brother Zhong Li. The moment brother Tushan's in view, he back straight staff at at, at position. He's at, at attention. He's just like brother sergeant. Uh, an honor to be in your presence. So Tushan has in one hand a thunder hammer. And he's got a flame, a heavy flamer, underslung in the other hand. And he says, oh, excellent. I was worried uh, Gara would throw punches before messages. He almost did. <laughs> he attempted to, brother. But alas, uh, I'm close. I have for you a fairly simple mission. Behind me are a series of chambers that I will need you to clear... And then, uh, once you've cleared the first two chambers, you will have a time for a rest. And then there is a chamber that is in complete darkness. In that chamber, there are several Xenos threats that we have captured that we would like you to test yourselves against. Uh, this is fairly straightforward, but Inquisitor Sterwin does want a readiness check, a live fire mission check before sending you down to Stanktus. Any questions? Brother, does that mean I may use my abilities? If you can control your abilities without some, without damaging or bringing the warp down upon us, feel free. If you uh, cannot, so at this point, I'm sure the chaplain will say something. He's throwing. He's he's throwing. There's a side eye going to the to his uh, to his fellow brother of Dord. Like, do I need to step? And he kind of just steps over, just ever so slightly. <laughs> uh, I will not fail. I will honor my Primarch and Gene Father. Uh, so Tershawn, actually, you've spoken to him several times. He is as uh, gregarious as salamanders tend to be. He's like. He's all about hard work, and you see he, he actually does the repairs on his armor himself. When you guys came on board, um, neither the Helljumpers nor the rest of the Firstborn were really sure what to do with you guys. And that's kind of the reason that Alexi's assigned to you, rather than you guys being assigned with the Inquisitor Lord. Um, you, guys are, you guys are kill team Bravo, you guys are definitely B team. Um, and, uh, you know, be, being Primaris, you're already kind of looked on strangely. Being younger than the other squad is an extra thing. And then, you know, this is just what you guys are working with. So, you see before you exactly what you see before you. Let me go ahead and switch scenes here so that our viewers can see what you see. Wow, that's a lot of dice. I would like it if they went away. Good. Skull, you are blessed by the Emperor right now. Yeah, we got some it's, sort of weird light on you. It's the sun. <laughs> that's, that's what that is. Uh, so, no, brother, you mean it's the light of the Emperor. The Emperor. It's the Astronomicon itself. It shines upon me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying I accidentally made a sun bro, but I am saying the race of Zulong do technically worship their sun as if it were the Emperor. Of course they do. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, Serbat takes out his little notebook and it's like, not only which, but within marginal acceptable deviancy <laughs> of the Imperial cult. Hey, hey. What's this notebook? <laughs> the Emperor is still a, the god, it's just a... It's just a different way no. of looking at him. God. The, mis oh. the missionary Galactica had directly. to convince the people to worship the Emperor somehow, and they had a sun-based faith, so it was just like, well, the Emperor's the sun. It's when you run into also the Emperor. who they're like, blood for the Emperor! It's like, it's a little bit confused, but he's kind of got the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> he's almost there, that's fine. Alright, so, you guys... How many times are we going to look around and go, I should have stayed on Katie? <laughs> You know that's uh, a bad I mean, day when staying on Cadia looks like the better option? Right. <laughs> Con considering the planet broke before the guard did. Right. Um, Alright, so. 
in front you guys are in a like shitty a, a standardly shitty uh like sewer looking uh setup here and there is tunnel uh there's a tunnel ahead of you that has a closed grate so alexi starts like pulling stuff out of his satchel and like assembling the long lines <laughs> Uh, so he's just going to look at the others and just, like, point at the door and start walking in that direction. <laughs> All right, so go ahead, uh, go ahead and set yourselves up in the pattern that you would like to breach the door. Uh, uh, Davius did just log in real quick, so hold on. Okay. Let's grab him in here. I'm just saying the wizard in the middle. The wizard in the middle. Uh... By the way, you know how, like, normally when Space Marines walk, there's that THQ Nordic, like, ground shakes effect, and there's, like, this, the noise and everything? When Tui walks, there's no sound. Yeah, you yeah. added yeah. Your, yeah. your boots. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> like, there is completely sound. Pasando aquí. Sound with hey, Davies, we can hear you. That's what I'm saying. So there is 100% sound when other Gareth walks. Like, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ker he makes... The, uh, the link is not working for me, unfortunately. Uh, is there a way you can pull me in? Or... Uh, hold on. I'm showing you already on screen. Let me send the link again. I'm in Skype, but when I go to click the Foundry link, it, it doesn't work. Uh, uh, just copy the, the, the URL and paste it on your browser. Hold on. That usually works, yeah. Copy. If that doesn't work. I mean, I'm on a garbage Mac, so but it was free, so I can't really argue. So, uh, it, it, thus far, in my experience, we are definitely seeing less overall lag on on uh, the Foundry than what we had been seeing on Rule20. But we've been having other sort of issues. <laughs> um... Are you using Safari or are you using any other browser? Because that might be part of the reason. Right now, I am, I believe, using Chrome. Chrome? Okay, then that should work. Minimize Skype. You keep, you keep looking at it and it keeps moving. I'm, no, I'm looking at my screen waiting for Foundry to pop up. I don't up at all. Damn it. All right. All right, we're good. I am like two seconds from stopping using Skype and using something different, but I'm, I have to figure out a better way to do that. All right. So Where did you send it? You sent, uh... I sent it on Skype also. All right. All right, and now I have another tab that is just spinning at me. Let's see what happens. I mean, site can't be reached. 68.101.83.128 refuse to connect. Why would it be doing that just to you? Yeah. Unless your ISP is blocking direct IP connections, but why? It could it sounds like it someone needs uh, a light more on the campus guest account right now. I'm not oh, that might, yeah. All right. All right. Have we tried praying to the Omnicide? About I would suggest lighting some incense, uh, right. including some sacred unjoins, and perhaps encanting the rite of proper connection to the new sphere. What? This is what happens when we don't have Or, or just giving it a good old smack. I heard that works, too. All right. Uh, no. Davius, you uh, try and click the link again. In the meantime, I need... I, I'm going to assume that you want to be in the front. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to be the first one through the door. Had I been online and role-playing, I probably would have already gone through the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's time to go. Thunk, 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 thunk. Uh, Ricardo does have his bolt pistol in, in one hand and his chainsword in the other. Okay. And starts. Well, he, he, he's about to ask if are we about to sneak in or not. Then he sees the thunk, thunk, thunk and goes, oh, all, right, all right, and starts revving the chainswords. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I am going to go ahead and open the door. All right. 
Is it being opened? Is it being kicked down? Is it being pulled off the hinges? Well, there's actually a large red button right next to uh, the door, which you assume is I don't... starts the... Uh... The exercise? The exercise. See, I don't know if that changes the answer to the question, though. Yeah, is it being uh, that's pulled a... off? Is it being Does kicked it look in? Like something I could just like run my shoulder through and just get started, or like... Uh, I... I mean, you're welcome. I mean, let's not break Sterwin's ship. <laughs> so... But, yeah, break. So, so you, Upgrade? You, I, I'm pretty sure that no one except for the Inquisitor would... Uh, would deny you the pleasure of, of trying to kick the door down. All right. I'm, I'm, I will be polite for this time, and I will, t- I will try the button. All right. So you click the button. All right. So what I'm going to do, uh, just so you know, uh, Israel, I'm going to go ahead and try and log on to on my tablet, okay. uh, which has its own internet connection and won't be relying on the, the campus's one, so it may not have the same issues. Sounds good. So the door opens, and you see what looks like a defensible position with sandbags, a couple of tank traps, and a series of uh, servitors that have not yet turned on. And then over your helmet mics uh, and your Vox bead, Alexi, you say, proceed to the yellow mark on the floor to begin combat exercise. Um, so unlike D&D, there is no um, there is no real initiative in Wrath and Glory. You guys choose who goes first, and then we alternate one of my guys, one of your guys. <laughs> the dude not in power armor goes last. I mean, that's fairly <laughs> reasonable. So, I like that idea. I like that idea. <laughs> Stay in the caster box. Uh, it's, uh, so, since we're waiting momentarily for Davis to try and log in through his tablet, I, I'm, I have no issue admitting that I am legitimately worried at how to balance encounters that will not turn, uh, uh, Alexi into a fine pink mist, but will also <laughs> somewhat, uh, damage the Marines. It's, it's, a, it's a balancing act. The, the, there's an easy answer to that. Alexi's not there. He's... <laughs> There, <laughs> or or the apothecary is just his best friend. Like it's okay, you're fine. No, no yore, no yore, totaying. You're fine. There's some big... Digging uh, out his red Flintstone vitamins from his fucking <laughs> pocket, and they're like, my arm was just blown off. It's like, yeah, you right, take two of these, you know. And that we some put some tussin on it. Just put some tussin on it. Just just pour some tussin on it. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I'm going to move Davies into the room. He's going to okay. go ahead and get him first. But he's not going to move on to the yellow marker until everybody says that they're in position. So, Where is the yellow marker? Uh, you have to move into the room to see it. So go ahead and move on in. Ah! Ah! It is taking hella long to load. Um, Two, three. And I'm not even sure... Uh, if- so it's more of a this is more of a role play note. You see, uh, Ricardo, brother Ricardo, turn and he starts counting the servitors, and he and you can't see his facial expressions because helmet, but his shoulders kind of sag. Like, oh, you're not outnumbered. This is bullshit. It's even. <laughs> so he's kind of worried, and like he doesn't know whether he needs to stand behind cover or if he can stand behind one of the servitors, just breathing heavily, like. <laughs> <laughs> No, you need to stand here until it starts. Like, I know at this point they're machines, but I cannot imagine that being a thing without them, like, sweating at least a little bit. <laughs> Uh-oh, you, I actually see text. You, you accidentally make the thing... Uh, you actually make it sweat. All right, so... Uh, are you all in position and ready to start the uh, mission? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So Alexi, feeling the need to be a little bit of a tryhard as the tiniest person here, is already aiming. <laughs> this is not a terrible idea. You remind me of the guardsmen on Rin's World who charged down Greenskins. Right. Props. 
What did those guys do? Oh, they, they all died. Uh, but it was uh, magnificent. It was so manly. <laughs> you see um, Brother <laughs> Jolie's was... already like on one knee with his staff, and he's just like making oaths and prayers to the Emperor and his Primarch and honor and the Chapter Master. Right, and so... if no one stops him, he's going to continue. All right, so who's going to go first? The combat has begun. Oh, someone's. Oh. Uh, who stepped on the thing? I can go stepped on the thing. Who stepped on the thing? I I probably stepped on the thing. Um, <laughs> not why. Because your your guy is like I, mean, I probably didn't even look. Yeah. At, what? Oh, sorry. So your your standard primaris is probably sitting around eight and a half feet tall. Your standard primaris aggressor is probably sitting close to nine. As a son of Medusa, uh, Gareth is probably close to ten feet tall. Congratulations, you're a custodian. Neck aches I, everywhere. I, I, probably, I probably stepped on the thing, sorry. I think Alexi comes up to his yeah, belt. Maybe. So, yeah, that, okay. that's essentially the situation. Even even, even the like the Terminator that you guys just small, saw is small compared to the aggressor. It, it, uh, all right, so loading. I know everyone is polite, but someone needs to choose who's going first. You know what? I'll go Here, first. Let's go. I'm going first. All right, so we said it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Dewey, you're activated. What are you doing? Uh. What? There's no password, right? Select no, user. But you shouldn't say that I... while we're live. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. I probably should not have. I apologize. And now there's the password. <laughs> Alright. Right. So, so, so Dewey, password. you run forward. You see that this servitor has um, a drill in one hand and a clamp in the other hand. Fun. The kinky servitor. The servitor of Slanesh. That is, that is the servitor of Slanesh. Yes. Clamp. He'll, he'll give you the camps. Yeah. On the, the way there, uh, Tui just like, uh, he brings out his uh, combat knife from his forearm and just like stabs it into the servitor. All right. As close to the head as possible. All right. So give me one, uh, one attack roll. All right. So Here you we go, go to combat. You're... Do I have to target the thing? No. No, oh, it's not okay. that. So you go to combat, and then uh, under war gear, you'll see weapon. You will click the weapon, and it will roll for you. See, I made a macro. Of course you did. <laughs> Is this one going to work, though? It looks like Oh, it. yes, it did. Oh, shit. Mm. A complication. <laughs> immediate, immediate heresy. Immediate problem, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you do hit, but what do we got for combination? <laughs> His knife is out of ammo. Oh, also the knight has the knife has reliable, so I ignore our complications. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I was gonna have you get it stuck inside one of the armor plates. Alright. So roll damage? Uh, yes, please go ahead. Oh jeez. Oh my god. This man just said stab. Uh so you essentially you run up and max damage and you take its head off. And it goes flying through the air. Yeah. No. This entire exchange was completely silent. <laughs> Gareth looks over. He just stands there looking disappointed. Gareth looks at him and goes, I like this one. So don't be the cool Nazis. All right, so to, to make up for that, I'm actually going to have my gun servitor go next. <laughs> Tenga cuidado. One day I'm going to get in the game with you, and I'm not going to be, like, the minority. Uh, well, I mean, you have Jake. Well, I mean, and we are the minority. Like, and I mean, like, he probably still speaks more Spanish. Like, I'm probably still by myself. Like, I have, I have no idea what they just said. Sounded cool, but I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, Tui, the uh, gun server turns to you, and you see his uh, heavy boulder cycle up. And he jams. <laughs> the dice are already being unkind. Spectacularly, I love it. Well then, that's fine. He still hit you. Before it had a canary. He dice are catching up from Monday night. Seriously. Uh, Dewey, how much health, uh, how much armor do you have resilience? Uh, hold on. 
Okay. So resilience. Don't attach it. Combat. Uh, is it in combat? Yeah, it's, it's in combat. Yeah, combat. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right yeah. Under general. Yeah, resilience ten. So you actually take four wounds as the si as the heavy bolter cycles up, rips into the area, hitting the, hit, you know some of the some of the things hit the uh, the servitor that you already killed. But some of the heavy bolts actually get through and uh, and do damage you. Hmm. Uh, so that's the thing that just happened. So not, four wounds. Four wounds, yes. But now that asshole did not have anything. So which which hero is going next? Oh, I want to do it. I'm close. This is the heavy server, right? Yeah, that and, is a uh, combat server, correct? Ooh, yeah. I like the white. The white thing looks nice. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four. Five. I imagine you leap over that sandbag wall. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> I mean, like, imagine this human sized uh, sandbag, so they're like just over the knees, barely, <laughs> for Space Marines. It's like, glory to the first man to die! Charge! Alright, so go ahead and give me that. Uh... Give me the, the old Croesus bap. <laughs> Uh, do you want a two-handed mace like your token, by the way? We'll have to, we can work that out for you. No, it's just that, because the crochets can be any shape. That is true. All right. It just, <laughs> it's just a two-handed crochets is like, mmm. Alright, give me that, g g give me that sweet damage. Yeah. Oof. Uh, you actually miss. But you got a critical, so yeah. you're gonna still do damage. Go ahead and roll your critical hit. Okay. He suffered three wounds. Yeah. Uh, you do have a glory if you want to spend it to do four wounds to it. No, I'm gonna save that. Boy. This is the first roll. You know, we're just getting warmed up. So that, that guy is now at minus one defense. Uh, but you hit him, and you see chunks of plating come off of him as you're beating, as you're beating him up. Uh, throwing, throwing shrapnel in every direction. And before that poor bastard dies, I'm going to activate him next. <laughs> because Jeebus. Who's, uh, who's this guy over here on the left? That is another servitor that has not been attacked yet. Combat servitor Tertius. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and hit. We're going to try and hit. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Savitar, is your defense less than three? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. Alright. Here it is. I don't think you can have a less than three as a space marine. <laughs> <laughs> you right. could be in Terminator armor. <laughs> All right, so, so uh, who's up next, guys? Not you specifically, but you. I uh, where is there a group? I can't see the full screen, and it won't let me move it around. Um, is, is there a group of more than one of them at any no, point? They're, 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 kind, they're, they're kind of they're separate. All spaced out. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, let me find one of them, and uh, so you got a combat guy over here. I I literally can't see it. Like no. there's no. Hold on. Have a... That work for you? All right. I see me. Like you can click on. Like you can move me around, but I can't. There it is. All right. So scroll up, please. To where like the. Just find me a dude that I can jump on. I'm literally gonna jump on top of somebody if it's possible. Alright, so you're going to power fist someone. Yes. Alright, yeah, you must stop them. They will get fisted. The, your fist sense is tingling. Alright. Um, somebody, yeah. Uh, Give me that power fist roll. You actually can roll both, if I'm not wrong. Um, where? I, I can't. So double click uh, your character to open them up. Okay. I'm, I'm in my character. So uh, in I combat, Huh? You'll see I have my fist. There's nothing in it. You, what? I want two, three, four, and there's no uh, abilities in it. In your character? Oh no! Oh. 
Uh, right, to open your character sheet, go to combat, scroll down, and you'll see Power Fist is the first one on there. I can't scroll the screen, remember? <laughs> oh, fair. All right, that's fine. I can, like, now, con I, the side where chat is, where it's, like, current and pending, mm -hmm. I can scroll through that. But when I go to player character, and then I go to here... All right, so I'm going to roll for you. No, no, there it is. Power Fist and which... No, I got equipment and quantity. Like, I don't have... No, can, you, you went over to, you went to gear. You need to go to combat. All right, so I'm in combat now. General, resilience, shock, passive awareness. Uh, then it'll say war conviction. gear, and then you should see your power fist. Right. Where is the part that I touch to make it roll and do bad things? The actual name, the actual first line of power fist should do it for you. I touch that, and then just, oh, there we go, roll. Allow. Oh, wow. You actually missed. Oh. Ah. That's impressive. Punch the second one, or? Yeah, uh, no, when you do... So you, you do wield, you either roll one attack and add the damage together. Okay. Or, give me a second while I look it up. I'm so making sure I'm not crazy. Boom. And this is part of the reason we're doing this, so we can start to learn our, uh, learn our rules. I tell everybody that it usually takes about a month like three or four sessions for everyone to really start to figure things out. Makes sense. Alright, so dual wield. When you wield a weapon in each hand, you get the multi attack option. That's what I wanted, which is multi attack. Yeah, I am a Luddite, by the way. I will always choose to look at the book rather than the PDF. That's no problem for me. If I physically own the book, I would agree with you. All right, so the way Shame. multi attack work is you um, it increases the difficulty, but you roll damage uh, for both weapons. Okay, so I missed. All right, so who's going? Oh, actually, it's my turn. You know what? It, Logically, it is only fair that this guy tries to now fist you. <laughs> It makes perfect sense. We shall fist each other, yes! <laughs> Insist. Brother, no. Instant. That is not what you think it is. Uh, he actually hits you with a critical hit. Oh my god. So first Brother, of, no. First of the critical hit. Oh, oh shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he grabs you with the clamp and it's like, no, like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> The dice spot's brutal tonight. So what tonight. has happened is, you went to hit him with your power fist, and he has grabbed your forearm in a clamp, mm -hmm. and crushed, and is attempting to crush your forearm. Uh, but he's just, he can't break your actual arm because you're covered in so much armor. But he does, in fact, shatter the ceramite on your arm. Mm. And then oh. max damage too. Oh my god. Um, however, because you're because you're Gareth, right? Even at 13 damage with uh. With a minus three AP, you only take uh, one wound. Oh, there you go, buddy. You just gonna... like, ha ha! Like, like, I'm holding up like, I like this one too! Like, he has hit you in, in such a way that if he hit anybody else, it would. Fine red mist. It, it, would, it would. Yes, fine red mist. It, it would not have been good, but uh, because of you, it didn't matter. I think I know which one I'd like to shoot okay. now. <laughs> Who are you going to shoot? I feel like maybe the one that's dangling off of the Primaris <laughs> is the one to shoot. Like you, you can let me charge him. I have my four staff. All right. Yeah. So, no, no, no. Alexi says he wants to shoot. Go. Um, right. As a heads up, Alexi, he does get bonus to his defense because he's in uh, close combat. Not oh. for me, if I recall correctly, because of the sniper trait. Carry on. This one is very bitey. Look, he is trying to crush my arm. <laughs> All right, so having never used Foundry before, all right, so I do the long yeah, last on thing. Your combat, it'll come up with roll, and so you just roll. Does that include the dead shot uh, double ED thing? I don't know, but if it doesn't, we will go ahead and have you roll separately for some more damage. You might have to click dead okay. shot separately. Yeah. I don't see where there's a way to way to do that. No. So when you take the 
All right, so there's the roll. Yeah, you hit. Okay, and then so as the cold shot, if there's like a, like a, you know, a through the eye kind of thing, you know, for for wherever the, the computer is. Yeah, go ahead, roll for damage. All right, so then give me an extra three d six, please, for extra ed. Two more successes. All right, so you do a total of 12 damage, which is exactly enough to... You see his cogitor come out the back of his head and fall to the floor. Um, he's still clamped around uh, Garrett's arm, but Garrett has very little issue yeah, carrying that, that off when, uh, when his time comes. If I get another attack, I'm hitting the next dude with him. <laughs> All right, we got Ricardo... He has now become a weapon uh, bonus. Ricardo and Zong Li are the only ones that have not gone yet. Zong Li go charge something. We're not. Zong Li, you're up. You out there still? Diego? Oh, Diego's gone. Oh, he was lost to the warp. He was, in fact, lost to the warp. All right, I guess I'll go. Uh, none of them. You all look fine, right? None of one looks. No one has got. The only person who's gotten hit. Oh no, that's not true. Two, we got hit too. Amazing. Yeah, hey, you're back. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know what happened. All right. When you shot, when you, when you shot the charges. cogitator, you shot my cogitator too, apparently. He <laughs> 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 shot that guy's computer so hard. Your computer got scared. The machine spirit was unwilling. All right, Ricardo, where are you going? Uh, so everyone looks to uh, Tui. How much are you, are you still good? You still Got a fine? couple of holes, you know. Like uh, I was saying, no, you're fine. It's yeah. dying. It's dying. Um, it's the and disadvantage then the... of being the light armor guy. Yeah. Uh, now this guy up here, his gun broke. Yeah, the blue. Um, yeah. This guy here. But you do know that he's a servitor, so you're not certain what sort of like auto repair features he's got. Oh, all right, then I'll just shoot him. <laughs> I'll shoot him with my Avsovol. Bolt pistol. I think I so, it are you totally doing like the Pedro Cantor full on? Like, oh yeah, just a <laughs> red fist held up high and just bang. All right, go for it. Let me see what you got. Right. Uh, it's a little known fact, but, uh, but uh, not crimson too. fists, uh, power fists have built-in castanets into the fists. <laughs> oh shit! I got sound for your attack for ancestors. No what reason. Hmm. Uh, with 10 successes, that will be a, a success. You also have two shifts, which is a definitely a thing that we should learn what, what they do. It allows you to shift for additional damage. Uh, no, we got a, a follower instead. Oh, is that what that yeah. was? I'll, uh, I'll yeah. shift for additional. So now, fun. I didn't roll the red dice on the bottom. That's the wrath dice, correct? Uh, it rolls it automatically. Perfect. No, no, no. Because uh, if that rolls a six, I get to do things, but... Yes. No, it doesn't matter. Come All right, on. so go ahead um, and, and roll for damage. Yeah, let's roll damage, and then I'll shift for additional damage. Oh, God. 14 damage. I so mean, do you, I need to? You essentially just, just like, aim and blast him in the chest. The bolt round goes into the center and explodes. He, uh, the, he spins it in his, uh, in his fingers, about to put a package in his holster, realize, oh, we're still, we're still in combat. Uh, there is one servitor remaining, but everyone's turn is done, so we're on to the next turn. I, I, hey, 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 hey. Oh, sorry, oh, I, just, I skipped you because you had uh, disappeared. Our witch hasn't gone. That's I'm true. Code this year. <laughs> I worked very hard to not blow myself up, thank you very much. All right, so where are you headed? Uh, 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 I, am, I, am, I am charming. You know I am how it happens? I am charging the last server. Helmet, but right. you watch Gareth's ear perk up when you say witch. Like, you, you don't know how to see it happen, but he's like, you said what? <laughs> Where, who, what? Brother. All right. Brother. I will now attempt to maul him and unassist him with my force staff. All right, go. And there's no bonuses, so... Oh, those are pretty nice too. Everybody chose such nice oh, dice. But unless they miss. fail, amazing. The emperor is not with me. All right, new turn. Who's gonna? All right, I want to finish right. it off. 
<laughs> hey, hold on. I go first. This go. Yeah. Just got to finish what I started. Because I damaged it even though I missed. You did. Magnificent. <laughs> you winged one. one by its ear. It is it is amazingly shameful for a space marine out of all things to miss a servitor. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a he lot did it of again. ones. <laughs> the dice. The dice. I opened my mouth. <laughs> and that's when the problem started. <laughs> All right, so the servitor looks at you and he's like, oh, I understand. Yeah. It's like, you might be wondering how I found myself in this situation. Uh, does a five okay. hit you? Yeah, a five All right, so uh, first, and you got a And you got a critical. So first of yeah. the critical, unspeakable <laughs> carnage. You take five mortal wounds. Jesus, Jesus. You spoke that. It's supposed to be unspeakable. <laughs> you spoke that. Uh, essentially, you swing, and it catches you underneath the uh, the chest plate and rips out portions of your of your innards from the side there. Uh, the, black, uh, the black carapace starts to clock, uh, to clock quickly, but five mortal wounds, that ignores armor. And then you take another nine, which sh uh, nine with minus three AP. Just, you know, soak on the dot. Is your soak on the dot? That twelve resilience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah twelve. Res Damn, you're tough with a twelve resilience. Uh Well, no. I mean, apparently a servitor got has his number though. I mean, let's be clear. Uh, remember when I said I was really uncertain about how how encounters were going to be balanced and whether this was going to be too difficult or too easy? <laughs> yeah. We're we are we're actively okay. learning. We're we're, we're we're all right. All right. But however, now there's five of you who get to go to Freetown I, I, on this portion. I would like to, I would like to redeem myself against the. So. I would I would I would like to to do the redeeming first. I missed first. <laughs> all right. So uh, what's your also? I want to see how this works. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest. All right. So your the, speed is six, um, so you can move six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. You cannot get into combat this round. If I wanted to, oh no 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 no! I wanted to do the um, the talent thingy that I have where I get to run and shoot people, and when I'm running, oh, I shoot. Yes, that is the thing that you have. It's called relentless advance. Yes, so I want to do that thing. Shooting. All right. Yes, that is the thing I want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and move you so you don't have to worry about trying to like drag on the tablet. All right. So, so go I'm ahead gonna... and roll your oh, my shots. Phone, the tablet took forever to open, so I just went ahead and used my phone. Um, and I'm supposed to go to stats, uh, combat, right? And yep. then it should be the auto bolt storm gauntlet, correct? Yes, it is. All right. Ha! I think those dice are cocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's a complication. Oh, my God. And there's a complication. Right. The emperor is unhappy. unhappy. Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't know what you guys did. <laughs> <laughs> you become blind. <laughs> um. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. When you fire an assault weapon while sprinting, you ignore the normal plus two DN modifier. Yeah, yeah. we didn't. I didn't increase your DN in any way for it. Um, okay, so, I just rolled. Like okay. So um, you guys see Gareth run across the room, half dragging the servitor until he gets it off. Firing with everything, like both guns, full gun, full blah, 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 blah. but some of the brass comes off of it and vaguely cracks his lenses somehow. Uh, Gareth, you can take an action next round to move your helmet to uh, take away the lens uh, status. Okay. But until until your helmet is repaired, you have no helmet. Uh, All right, right. Song, you want you want to you, Should I? I, I would. I would like to now attempt go, to unmake him. Go. I, I will flank him because it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> <World. laughs> we all missed this Poor round. Poor Leo. Like, up all, up. all of us missed this round. Like, and this one servitor is like, "I'm the king of the world." Please stop <laughs> assisting. <laughs> There we go. Okay, there should, you go. That, that should do it. That, that, that will hit and a critical. Critical, and critical first, shifts. right? Yeah, go ahead for your critical first. 
I saw that five. I watched that five be like, nope. Uh, okay, so you hit him across, and he gains one mortal wound. And uh, if he survives this attack, which we'll find out when you roll your damage, he would gain a memorable injury. Go ahead and roll for your damage. All right. Jesus, 19 damage? Yeah, four stabs are all damage, very little AP for the force weapons, but uh, they can unmake tanks by just going like... Alright, so tell me, how do you finish the servitor off? Because that's it. He's um, not long before him. This has been a dishonor for <laughs> our names and our chapters, and I will not stand for it, and I will stick the staff straight into its sternum, and it will slowly start melting as I ignite a fire inside it. I like it. Vulcan does not approve. Alright, so... Four, four. I feel like Alexi is sitting in the back just pulling out, like, a low stick and, like... Yeah, you're, you're watching this. So, while they weren't great in this combat, you have done missions with them before. You understand the sheer amount of destructive potential uh, that these servitors have just taken care of. Oh, yeah. All right, so, you guys now have... Uh, you guys can take some actions to try and, like, relax... The bleeding or heal. Um, you also can earn two glory points, by the way, which, if you look at the book, it'll tell you what glory points can do. Um, I have 14 ruin points, uh, but I don't want to use it on, on this training mission. I mean, you could. I, could. I, I will do the things needed to get the helmet fixed. Uh, that will actually have to, well... Does, so mechanics question. So the the thing was saying it needs a, a DN two Medicaid check, which I think I'm good at. I have a Medicaid of seven. I don't know if that's good, good or not. I, I would wonder if the apothecary. Yeah, well, you guys do have a medic with you. Um, do any of you have? All any... right, there you go. I believe the skill is called tech. Oh, I have ten. Yeah, uh, tech. I have a five in tech. So anybody. Tech, I've got yes. seven. With tech, you can fix the helmet. So, you, uh, Lexi, you can grab the helmet and work on fixing it. Okay. Uh, so, uh... Brother, Brother Ricardo, <laughs> it appears that I might have been graced Ay, a little bit. Concho, ¿qué pasó aquí? Um, so, oh, uh, tú sabes. Uh, uh, Ricardo, uh -huh. that is legitimately the worst word you've ever seen in training. Ay. You know, like you, like a great hero of the Crimson Fist, Ricky Martin would say, "Say <laughs> puta." Just... Really? Really? Okay, okay, Willie Chidi. No, damn it, damn it, qué yo puedo hacer aquí? Roll Medicaid. Uh, so uh, it's actually kind of funny. Davius's armor. Davius, uh, Gareth himself didn't take any damage. But he's got cracks in his arm armor, and he's... Oh, no. God. Something unexpected happens. What happened now? I, I went away a second. <laughs> I made a Medicaid test. He is like... You pass. He shoved the Fred Flintstone vitamins into the wound <laughs> instead of giving them to you. Uh, all right, hold on a second. What? Oh, uh, okay. The good news is that you, you have. Yeah, you left your scalpel <laughs> and you sewed me up and it's inside. In him. Well, with the eagle. It's one uh, of those moments. Doctor, where's your watch? Oh, shit. <laughs> um, so actually, that's 100% what we're going to go with. He left um, He left an ampule inside of you. Ooh, okay. So the way Medicaid works is... Heal wounds, DN3, so he's successful. Now he has an ampule inside, so if he gets punched in the right way, he just gets a dose of the feel-good juice. Like, ooh! <laughs> Damn! Yes, yeah. hurt me. <laughs> and so, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna heal two wounds during combat. Uh, so you, 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 you gain two, two wounds back. Alright. Does he know what... Is it Gareth or Garrus? Gareth. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, what do you know what rank he is? Uh, actually, I can answer this. You know that all of these guys are ranked brother, and uh, typically after the first combat mission, one of these one of these chuckleheads is going to be the sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
so so Alexei like mutters something under his breath in like old Russian. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Uh, Brother Gareth, would you like me to? Yes, yes. Look at head. Look at hat. At hat. Thrown in them. Right. But Brother Garrett is really just Delvin. Uh, <laughs> and people just assumed he was a space marine. <laughs> they were like, eh, fucking right size. <laughs> ship him, ship him. <laughs> just really uh, what you been doing on this planet this whole time, brother? <laughs> it's like, I- like, I didn't do it. They gave him some shiny like, armor, and he was like, yeah, fuck do it. this is great. It's not like fun. Let's go. Do we kind of, like, tap such... So he'll take out from his satchel a little, like, tap. I'm not sure how to read the the uh, the results. It's, uh, I mean, you have three successes, and it's difficulty number yeah, three, right? So, so, you, so what does the failure four mean? Uh, that means that four of your dice failed, and three succeeded, but you only needed three. But, so you're good. Gotcha. Yeah. It's just to let you know to feel bad, basically. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't like you don't have to beat your failures. You just have to meet the beat the test. Yeah. So uh, let's be clear: this is a a Warhammer game, and uh, it exists to make you feel bad. Um, I mean, yes, this is true. I, I, mean, I mean, I forgot to equip my Narthicariums as I uh, went to heal uh, my brother. So, <laughs> whoops. So- just punching the yeah, vitamins. You forgot to equip it. You just dropped it. So like, hey, you are a prince of It heals me something. So he must be doing something. Uh, right. You're just like the blood of Dorn. Punch, punch. <laughs> All right. So you guys are done with this room, and you can move in. So you hear over the uh, you hear over the the loud the the box. Uh, the sergeant Tershan says, uh, "You've completed the first test. Feel free to move into the next room." Right. Is... Alexi will finish my... monkeying with the helmet. And my my it one kind of question is, what not... gets it? Alexi is attached and then sits back down when he yells at him. Oh, my bad. My bad. Where'd you say, uh, Diego? My one question is about our, our that seemingly side path down in the bottom right of this room. Yeah, so he's looking into it and kind of like sniffing. Okay. You might want to take the Inquisitor with you. Is it is it big enough for me to walk into it? It is definitely big enough for you guys to walk. Um, you're not sure what it means, why it's there, but you can tell that there's no light in it, unlike the other path. Well, the bitey dude, I like him. He stabs things, and they die. He's bitey. If he's going that way, I'm going that way. All right, so are you guys splitting the party? If we're not going that way, then I'm going to go no. through the door. I would like to take a look down the uh, down the dark hallway with my Auspex. Okay. You look down the dark hallway, uh, and you see at the end a light, but you're not sure. Uh, but there's nothing in between here and there. Uh, the hallway, let me see if I actually did this measuring thing right. <laughs> I did. I'm so good at this. Uh, it's 12 meters long, that hallway. Uh, Tui's going to start sneaking into it. All right. Go ahead and yourself roll. I guess we are splitting the party. Right. Well, I mean, we can, we can also just do the hallway. Here. I'm not following him. Like, if he stealths up and I'm like, uh, oh. Stealth, where is it? Da, 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 da. Ah, here it is. There's a lot of ones, man. Yeah, but he rolled seven. Uh, 13 dice and 7 yeah, were seven, good. Well, really, he rolled 13 dice, and only 4 of them were good, but 3 of those counted as double. Double successes, yeah. And he got a Wrath Critical, which gave you guys an extra point of glory. So you guys see... What is... Say again? What are you used for? So, if you guys... So, hold on. If you guys look on... I, Page... page 164 of the rulebook, it tells you both how to gain glory and what you can do with it. Essentially, it lets you re-roll failures and uh, ask for help. And mm-hmm. Sorry, so, gotcha. so what you do is you can increase your dice pool, you can increase your damage, you can increase the severity of a critical hit, or you can choose to go just take... Uh, uh, take the initiative and go. 
Wrath is the one that gotcha. is uh, reroll failures. And you guys have... Personal yeah, personal wrath. wrath but I forget how many you have. Each person should have two yeah, wraths. Yeah. You each have two points of wrath, which allows you to re-rule some failures and stuff like that. All right. In the meantime, you guys look at Tui, and he sneaks into and essentially blends completely into the darkness. Tui, go ahead and give me one round of movement into the tunnel. How much movement is this around? I think your movement is six, so you can get six, star, six hexes. Uh, if he's in light armor, shouldn't his movement be higher? Mine is seven. Uh, it's also dexterity-based. The man's also seven. Here. Uh, his movement is seven. You are correct. Damn it, dark in there. The the expression on Alexi's face. I don't know how much I can swear on your stream, like. but uh, the expression on Alexi's face is this motherfucker. <laughs> Everyone's going this. <laughs> Ricardo's just turning Fucking on his North Care. I'm like, okay, but but for the next one, let me just. At the same time, like you know, do we so silent that I doubt anyone noticed when he left? Just like, oh, fucking, uh, oh, well, Alexi's like standing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Um, so, Bruh. Alexi, are you going to go down the tunnel with him? <sighs> yes, because leaving people by themselves in the dark seems like All a right, stupid so idea. Go ahead and give me a cell phone as you follow him. Uh, all right. I do get an extra. Dot of stealth. Uh, if you remember, yeah, we did so, the combined. So code when thing. you go ahead and do the roll, it'll ask you for like modifiers or something like that. You can put plus one. I, said, I think if that's how it works. So bonus dice pool plus one. There you go. I knew there was a place for it. I'm so good at this shit. I'll eventually learn the rules. God, so many dice. Uh. So you're you're not as quiet as as he is, but you you do move along. Uh, so go ahead and give yourself a full round of movement as well. Uh, Which is how many squares? Uh, for you, it will be six. Texas. For you, it'll be six. All right. Six. Yep. As you guys see them disappear into the darkness, what do the other? What do the rest of you want to do? Uh, we have not seen them disappear into the darkness. At least I haven't, because I was not facing their way when they disappeared Fair. into the darkness. Uh, oye, uh, oye, mi gente, hay un, algo pasando aquí. You're you're far uh, shit. <laughs> you shout that across the room. <laughs> well, I'm sure we have. You guys do have and, and, uh, and, and Gareth does have his back now that the helmet is back on. All right. So well, they uh, just entered into a tunnel. It's dark. I mean, if someone's mentioned us entering into the tunnel, Tui will just take it back. Yeah, see? Thank you, Tui. They just entered in... Brother Tui. See, they just entered into a tunnel that's dark. Um, so we can either wait here for them or we can continue on forward. I am uncertain like, why we are the... here, but I am following him. Little glory to be had in waiting. Then let us continue forward. All right, so everybody give me one... one uh, the non-stealth people give me one round of movement into the next room. Um, having worked with people who are stealthy before, or having used to be stealthy since he is just delphin, <laughs> um, I'm going to stay a little further back so I don't mess up their mojo. Um, and well, I'm gonna... It seems like everybody else is going into the top room while they're going into the tunnel. And so, okay, so this is, again, this is the most Gareth thing ever. I'm like, I start yelling at them, don't go in yet. Let the stealthy guys get further ahead and quiet. Like, if we make a whole bunch of noise, them being stealthy doesn't work. Wait, hold up. Don't, don't, don't go in behind the stealthy guys. Let them get a little further ahead. Brother, you do not have to shout. We have combi. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Uh, oh, Savitar, what are you doing? Savitar. Uh, Give me one round. You know, I, out of the... I spy with my Black Templar <laughs> eyes a fucking a gun over <laughs> here. So... All right, so I'm switching back to maps here because... I really wish I could see this. <laughs> my tablet is, is so... So, I... Uh, it, <laughs> You know, I let my brothers know that uh, 
Victory often rests on the correct weaponry being in the right place and at the right time. And even the most destructive weapons of war are worthless if absent from the battle. Uh, so that was a uh, Catechism of Fire, and uh, now they have uh, bonuses to their shooting actions. Does that, does that, that require a roll of some nature? It's just like... It does not. I just fucking tell you. Nieta, you get <laughs> this? <laughs> If the prayer is successful, you do, you do have to pray. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm about to say, you, you can't just talk shit and give people powers. That's not how that works. 100%. Oh, that is usually how that works, actually. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, all right, so it's a, it's a persuasion <laughs> test, DN3. I was thinking, like, man, Rob, mean, Roderick got robbed. No, but... Uh, Usted es como el head chaplain de los Crimson Fist, Guatemacao. Jesus, no, that's the librarian. How dare you? Pero mucho amor. That is clearly the librarian. Uh, all right. So, Savasar, give me the persuasion chest test. It is DN3, and you do take a D3 shock due to how much you have to, like, amp yourself up. Wow. Bro. Wow. The light of the emperor himself speaks through. Uh, okay, so everybody gains uh, one extra damage on all attacks in the coming thing. Now is that uh, team oh, actually, stealthy or team stealthy or both? Everybody who can hear him, Savitar, because you rolled a six on the wrath die, you take no shock. Yeah. Once we're in position, stay close to me, brothers. I will bend the warp to protect uh, And since you have a shift, it's actually going to last for two rounds. So, Savitar, that was your turn. Uh, yep. Ricardo, what's your turn? And in, Are these servitors here active? Or are they, uh, just... they do not appear to be active as of yet. You still don't know how it's happening, because, again, it's a solid helmet that you just saw get jacked up. But when he says the thing about bending the warp, you, you watch the ear perk up again, like... He's like, I don't trust this shit at all. Say what? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> I'm a librarian. <laughs> Hold all on. Right. <laughs> so, the work uh, is messing with speech. Ricardo, go. Uh, is there a ready action in this, or a reaction in this system so where I, I can? I, I will 100% <laughs> let you say I will hold my action until such, such and such happens. We, yeah, no, I will hold my action until this here servitor decides to come online. Okay, sounds good. Uh, it should, so the prayer should be, it adds plus rank. Yeah, rank is one. Uh, okay. I, I caught it, I read it. I got you. Is uh, there the closest space? enemy, by the way, which is that dude right there. <laughs> is there enough space? To their closest oh, enemy. To... Oh, got it, yeah. got it, got it. All right. Yeah, I can't see that dude. So it's basically, <laughs> even if the, it's not the closest to me, as long as it's the closest to themselves, they will re uh, receive um, Do you want to take a move action as well, Savitar? Because uh, you can take an action. No, I will stay here because uh, that means I'm not getting shot okay. at. Hey, uh, Zhang Li, you're up. Shu Li, do the thing. Oh, that is in fact the plan. I got. Uh, I understood that reference. He <laughs> he is very theatrical in the way that he calls upon his powers and asks the fires of Nocturne, to, which he's never been to, to shield him and his brothers from harm. And he's gonna attempt to cast fire shield. All right, we're there already. All right, all right, go. Mm, it's a buff. I can own. Oh, so it's a. Uh, I would do it here. There we go. Well, it, it's it's Fire off shield. of you, and it stays there. Oh, it stays there. Yeah, then it's that a case... sustained uh, action. Like you essentially create a sandbag okay. of fire. Huh. A fire bag of sorts. <laughs> In that case, it would probably be better for me to wait until my brothers move forward. You can also move forward and then put up the defense if you like. That sounds fine with me. So I'm going to move seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. seven. Oh, I see the mark. So we're not going to start until we're in position anyway, are we? So last time they started uh, unexpectedly. Uh, but yes, it is supposed to wait until you're in position. 
However, as you are walking, you notice that there are no rails and that these gratings are somewhat flimsy. Please give me an agility roll. You're asking a, a salamander. I am asking a salamander. Roll. Give me an agility roll. Do you want to use any glory? Uh, for for light? Light? No, I'm not going to steal people's <laughs> right now. Agility. Oh, throw in terror. Alright. You you successfully managed to uh, to make your way across without any 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 uh, issues there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I one more. So Sounds I just good. move over here. Not on the thing though. <laughs> We're not doing the thing yet. Alright. And then I guess from here I can do the, yeah, where the we, power where like probably. It? Uh, it's a blast sits around me, so. Alright, so. Alright. Boom. So, you guys are sitting there, and you see a sheath of fire come out of uh, Zhang Li's hands. And uh, create a dome of now. fire that you guys can. Oh, right, it's successful. Yeah, it's supremely successful. Ooh, shifts. The shifts... doesn't uh, have a thing for shifts on this one. It has potency too. Would that be yeah, enough, I'm assuming? Yeah, enough to activate potency too. What's it do? So it goes to blast 10. Uh, I already drew the circle, bro. Why? I'm almost sorry. This one. This one. Alright, and if y'all thought the ear thing was impressive... Gareth looks at him and you see the eyebrow raise, like through the helmet. <laughs> he has articulated eyebrows on top of the helmet, Spicer. Hey man, those are actually pretty useful. Looks at him. <laughs> Alright, so everything inside the red circle is fire, but it does not affect so So Savitar, the fire actually reaches over you and washes over you, but it does not singe your armor in the slightest. Witchcraft. Uh, <laughs> Literally, yes. The protection of Vulcan himself shall shield you from harm, brother. You, as a son of Dorn, will understand the value of stern defense. This is, this is not fortifications. I don't think anyone has ever in their life, you know, I think Dorn, you know, rest him in, in, like in the great fort in the sky, you know, oh. uh, has never in his in his blessed life said that fire was a fortification. In fact, when buildings were on fire, we were normally told to get out of this. Uh, please roll damage because you do actually cover two of the servitors unintentionally. Uh... I don't actually have a damage roll for this, but they have to pass an agility uh, test with DN4 or they're set on fire. Well, they're, they're not currently on. That That's terrible. Yeah. So they just... So... Yeah. All right, so you see that they catch fire and their flesh starts sizzling. The, the captain Man, is like... look. You guys didn't even start the test, and it's like, well, yeah, but like in a live fire exercise, we wouldn't have waited for the enemy to be ready. Like, um, them, right? So actually, sure, as they so start awesome. sizzling, hold on, as they start sizzling, the test starts. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah. So, Do I get a shot? Now you got big eyebrow. Inquisitor. <laughs> Witch. Inquisitor. <laughs> Witch. <laughs> But once again, the only kind uh, of witch that our brother here likes is the Will, sandwich. Will Smith meme. Yeah. That, it does mean that all of us have defense plus two. So I'm standing here with defense six. All right. So which like, which what? of you Space Marine people are going first? Oh well, does my reaction trigger, or would Maybe. that be part of the? Um... That's why I'm not giving them a surprise turn because you guys were essentially. Ah, okay. Before. Okay. Yeah. Who wants to go first? Yeah, we have a. Uh, oh, I thought we were still maintaining initiative, so like it was just like the two remaining. Uh, I mean, Eduardo would be. Go I mean, he was waiting. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what Actually, I meant. Actually, the uh, only one who had. So for this round, the only one who has acted mm -hmm. is Zhang Li. Everyone else will so be all... there. Um, so we add our rank to damage, or was it. You add one extra die to damage. Okay, which, so which under is, bonus, I would type right? in one. Yep. <laughs> but okay. it's not on purpose. All right. Let's... The on fire condition. Oh. 
Do I hit? Uh, so five is not going to hit actually. Okay. These are these are these servitors are designed to test you guys, so they are going to be D and six to hit. May I go ah, next? we learned something. We learned something, everybody. Uh, so no, you may not go next because a servitor is going to go next. Oh, oh yeah. All right, so the servitor is going to go and lay into Zhongli. So, uh, by any of the, uh, the servitors that are on fire do actually take 1d3 mortal wounds on I, the start yeah, of their I turn. I figured it was not good for me. They can also use their action to throw themselves prone to try to extinguish the fire. Yeah, we'll figure that shit out in a moment. I'll oh, download these books. Where did they go? Hey, Man, what's, and your, if they, you are... what's, your, what's your defense uh, with the fire? Right now, it's right. a six. So they are. he's going to hit you, and he's going to do two extra damage. And a critical? Monster. <laughs> so I, a mortal wound I take, because I can't stop that. Right, you take one mortal wound. And... Uh, I'm going to spend one ruin, so you actually take two mortal wounds. Amazing. <laughs> and then you take 13 damage with an AP of 1. So that's res that would lower my resilience by 1, correct? So that's uh, 10 to 13, I take 3 wounds. So I'm up I've taken 5 wounds yep. total. Brothers! <laughs> Brother, brother, I'm in I am here. Brother, I am injured. Brother's fucking out. All right. <laughs> so this one, the the bolts light up and rip into your midsection. And again, the only thing keeping you from bleeding out is the fact that you are a space marine, and the black carapace uh, starts to. Uh... It's not the black carapace. I keep using the wrong one. The black carapace is what lets you interact with your armor. Uh, who's going next? I can go next. All right. Two of you up. Uh, I stealthily move ahead. All right. Three, four, five, six. I swear, if Gene Stealers come out and start just gangbanging you guys in the darkness, that's on you. Um, do I have line of sight here? Like, it, it shows that I do, but like, do I? Who can you see? Uh, probably this okay. guy. Then yes, you do. He will probably have cover because of the way that that line of sight is working. But go for it. All right, I do have one more space of movement. Do over here. Will he still have cover there? Uh, yes, just because of the angle on that. All right. Uh, okay. Then I will take my pistol and I will shoot him. Brothers. Brothers. All right, shoot. Uh, do I get any bonuses because I'm sneaky sneaky? Uh, I will lower his defense because you're sneaky sneaky. I don't know if that's how it works, nice. but that's how I'm going to do it today. <laughs> so many dice. Jeez. There we go. Yes. All right, so you're going to get three Rat shifts, critical. which is going to allow you to do three additional damage. But go ahead and roll that critical hit first. Okay. Uh, we'll crit, go ahead. Uh, because it's only fair, you decide to do the same shit that he did to, uh, to Zhang Li. Uh, you see the little D20 symbol in the chat? Click it, and it'll tell yeah. you how many mortal wounds you do. Uh, I clicked it, but it doesn't really do anything. Uh, it shows a 1, I think. Yeah, that's because you rolled a 1. Yeah, yeah, you can click on the symbol. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so you so you have three possible shifts. That's glory that you can gain. Do you want to spend them all for mortal wounds? Um, right underneath that it says plus one glory for every, for plus one mortal wound for every glory you spend. You spend all three shifts and you do four mortal wounds. So I have this talent called terror tactics. That means that he has to that everybody that heard that shot, uh, enemies of course. Uh, have to take a DN plus one rank, DN one plus rank terror test. Uh, can I add those to that, or is it just for the? Uh, so I'm going to tell you that they are servitors, and so they cannot be terrified. 
Uh, that's unfortunate. That was the whole point of what I was doing. Uh, anyway. Just, they don't have enough brains for that. It's like, that's my whole shtick, making people afraid. But okay, yeah, whatever. Um, so, uh, I'll just add it to damage. All right, then. so he takes four mortal wounds before you even roll for damage. Go ahead and roll for damage. Awesome. <laughs> oh my. So, Zhongli, you just got opened up by the servitor in the far left-hand corner. And from nowhere, from the darkness, you see the servitor in the top right-hand corner. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm taking you. I'm taking you thunder. Uh, Tui, go ahead and tell me how you murder the hell out of that guy. Uh, yeah, no, just like out of nowhere, you know, a, a little, not little because it's fucking gigantic. Uh, a heavy bolter pistol just peeks out of the corner of the the entrance of the the place, fires. And uh, the servitor's head just, like, explodes into a, a complete, like, shower of pink mist. Yep, that sounds accurate. All right, so this combat servitor is going to go. And he's going to... I mean, he's going to die anyway. He's going to charge Zongli. He, he's on fire, so he first takes 1d3 yes, mortal wounds. Go ahead and roll your d3. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm assuming I just click the... The D6 works. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is really bad that he gets... Like he's on fire, but he's also... Tank treads. He can't throw himself on the ground. <laughs> like, how do you... How do you stop, drop, and roll when you're at half tank? Of course. <laughs> Alright. Also, if he can, since he's going to ignore the fire, he has to take a willpower test. And if he fails, he is hindered. Alright, willpower it is. DN3. Uh, yeah, he's hindered, so he's, so he's probably not going to hit you with this, but let's try. I mean, isn't he mindless? Wouldn't he just be like... Yeah, in this case, it's on. not... In this case, I'm saying that the fire itself is what's hindering him. He's gumming up his will oh, okay. or not. Uh, what's your defense? So he sits, and then he gets a plus one to DN because of, um, yeah. That's the worst we've seen him roll so far. All right, but he completely misses you. All right, which space marine is coming up next as the as the servitor is trying desperately to, uh... I'll, uh... To geek the mage? Keep running. So let's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And you said we're. No. Oh. You have to make an agility test on the grace, yeah. It is not letting me walk there. It is like you're colliding yeah, with you're walls. Trying, it's just, you're trying to pick it up and just go straight. You actually have to do the path. Yeah. Rotating that way, and then I'm gonna hit this. Uh, did you redo? Do that, give me the agility check, please. All right. Stance. Agility. Right, it is an agility check. I'm not crazy. Uh, you can use athletics. I'm sorry. No, oh, no, sorry, not athletics. <laughs> I, I, I mean, athletics sounds right. I can't intimidate the great into not dropping me. Uh, no, but athletics is not agility, so no, yeah, you just go ahead and use agility. There is no agility based skill. Uh, you succeed, you're good. Go ahead and give me that pistol shot. I'm gonna show him the only magic I believe in. Alec of Lamb. No. Brother, I am trying to be considerate. What the fuck right. is that? Yeah. That's what we call DACA. <laughs> yeah, that's between him All and right, God. So go ahead and roll damage, and you get one one extra damage there because of... Uh... So that's just an extra D6, right? Yeah, an extra ED, or whatever. So... And then one extra D6. Fourteen, fifteen damage. Eight. Yeah, that'll take him out. I haven't yet gotten a chance to shoot yet. Yeah, that's right. 
Alright, the combat server is going to go ahead and... Uh-huh, that's what he's gonna do. Eat one mortal wound? He's gonna just dip into the fucking water. Yeah, you see the server, uh, cycles up his, uh, his tank treads. Can he just, like, skip second gear and tilt backwards like a bad motorcycle rider and just fall on his back? And leaps across the uh, grates. Uh, make a strength check, uh, Savitar. DC4. All right. Uh, DC5, sorry. Or DN5, sorry. Jesus. Oh, God, I forgot your face marine. Yeah. Ah, but you got a complication. Oh, Perfect. I could not have asked for a more perfect thing. Uh, Zhang Li, Savitar, and the combat servitor all tumble into the pool of water below. Oh my god. Zhang Li is upset. Uh, you see that the pool of water is actually about 10 feet deep, and the servitor just sinks to the bottom. Uh, but you are. And we can just tip it toe and breathe right. out. Uh, but you know that the servitor will be able to reach you from the bottom. That's fine. Fucking Space Marine can hold their breath for like... <laughs> La binga. Ever. <laughs> I mean, our, our, our suits should they be... Are back uh, yeah. Climb... yeah, they're back in suits. Uh, yeah. But you are currently in the water. Uh, Davis and Alexi... Uh, sorry, Gareth and Alexi, you guys are the only ones who have not gone yet. Uh, is there, is there, are there any enemies still not in the water? There is one combat servitor... Uh, next to the target, and there is one gun servitor still up top. Uh, this is perfect. This is like that picture with the Black Templar in the water with the Tyranid, where it says the Crusade knows no bounds. <laughs> exactly <laughs> like this. Alright, so Garev is going to run up on a uh, gun servitor guy and attempt to punch through him. Uh, he is far as shit from me. Or do you mean the co combat oh. you, you can So, first, take your three, take four squares of movement and get to the roof so you can see what's going on. I can't move my guy, remember? Oh, yeah, sorry. All right, sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There you go. You're now there. Uh, none of these greats exist, by the way. <laughs> okay, there are no greats now. All right. Um, so I would have to jump, right? Basically, yes. it's, it's the deal. That, that, uh, is, that is the current issue. All right. Uh, it, do I have the capability of leaping and continuing to run, or do I have, do I, like... Um, once you leap, you will be in combat with that server, so that'll be the end of what you're doing. So go ahead and try and do that, that running leap. Give me an athletics roll. It's going right. to be DN. Give me one second. Give me one second to check before you decide to do it, right? Because we don't want, okay. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, it's DN 30. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, hang on a second. I gotta go do camp stuff. All right. All right. Athletics. Yeah, I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that DN seven athletics. That's a hell of a jump. I'm gonna take a hot minute. I'll be right back. Um, after this encounter is done, we will go ahead and we'll take a small intermission. And then that way everyone, because we have been at it already for uh, almost uh, three hours. So we'll take a small intermission and then come back. Uh, uh, Davies left. I'm going to, if nobody, if no one is offended, I'm going to go ahead and roll his, uh, his athletics for him. Do it. That's a lot of dice. And he gained another glory for you guys. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, uh, that's fine. I was I was rolling for you. I successfully cleared the jump. Uh, if you want, you can now power fist the guy. Oh yes, I would I would definitely like to do that. Um, since I have yet to power fist anybody, uh, you know, since I missed fisting the other guy. Go. This feels like the D and D, uh, you know, fist of justice, fist that's sense exactly tingling. Right. Uh, so, you got a critical. 
Yeah. You're gonna punch that right into the water. Go. Insisting on a fistin. Which where do I? Which button do I? Uh, so first click the one that says roll critical hit, and let's see how that goes. I don't. I don't see that. I'm not. Oh, in the chat. I can't see the chat. <laughs> so. That's fine. I got you. I will, I will have my computer, my other computer, because this Mac is gone. Well, I, I will just make sure that I'm on regular. So your uh, your first blow hits him right in the chest, and you see oil pour from his mouth as he suffers a mortal wound. Uh, go ahead. Oh, I'll, I'll roll damage for you. Uh, and then you do 18 damage. Wow. <laughs> and... Uh, Zhongli and Savitar, you see the uh, the flaming debris of the servitor who, who almost killed Savitar, uh, who almost killed Zhongli, fall into the water alongside you. Uh, Alexi, you are now up. Right, I have enough here. action to left to point at the gun servitor and be like, That guy? <laughs> yes, yes, you do. T tonight, you. Say again. I didn't say it. Say no, again. I was just pointing. I'm letting. Them, I, once I pull my hands back out, I'm pointing at. <laughs> he's, he's pointing at this guy over here. He's like that guy. That guy right there. He needs to not be. <laughs> he like, needs to not be. Or, okay. I'm, or and that's where I'm coming next too. So, <laughs> you're next. All right. Well, since I moved, I can't do my my aim right. routine. Uh, so this is just going to be sort of a flat. Take the shot, kind of thing. Oh, a ton of dice. So you should be all right. That is a lot of dice. That's a lot of dice. Uh, nine successes with two shifts. So you're gonna get to roll two additional dice for damage. All right. So I click roll damage. And do I need to do anything uh, for the two shifts? It just adds two damage. So you're gonna do a total of thirteen damage, which is just enough to finish him off. So I just imagine like Alexi has been walking through this this shadowed uh, tunnel, entirely uncertain <laughs> why. Just the Marine went that way by themselves is bad. Cover the Marines back. This tracks. And, you know he's got his, his 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 cigarette in his mouth, and he walks out. Gareth points. <clears throat> that's uh, that's that's exactly it. And another servitor bites the dust. Uh, it is... So he gets in one of these. He does get. He definitely gets the. Th he gets the double thumbs. Up. He gets the buddy Christ thumbs up from Gareth. All right. So it is now a new round. We've got one servitor left alive, and uh, and six player characters. One of you guys are going to get to go right. before he does. I want to. He pushed me into the filth, and uh, he turned off my sensor and my like you know. Oils and that is a no go. So I'm gonna charge him. Mm. Uh, so you can go ahead and charge him. Uh, you are gonna be. Uh, it was DC six to hit him before. It is going to be DC seven to hit him now because of the, uh, the, the buck, <laughs> and the fact that you're swinging down at him. Uh, it's, it's like a. That, that should make it easier. <laughs> just him. grab him and just bring the knee up while you pull the head down. No, no, no. This, this, so, so the Savitar is swimming, and the servitor is sunk to the ground. So he's like, there, there's, there's no swimming in power armor. I don't, I don't know if you know how water works. <laughs> there, there's, we are at the bottom, and I am trundling to, to him in slow motion. It's like, mm. that's fair. Everybody's at the bottom. Uh, I, can take, I accept the DC increase because he's swimming. He's swinging through the muck <laughs> because yep, he is one hundred percent in it. Go ahead. The caption reads, muffled sounds of violence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to use some glory to increase my All right, how many goal. would you like to use? Uh, just two, because we got six. So. Go for it. All right, and then you can just say... Dice pool. Right? Where do you add? The... Oh, you just add the, the two here at the end. Ow. Wrong. <laughs> the cat got you. Uh, nine successes will do it, even with the minuses. Uh, yep. So go ahead and roll damage, and you're going to get an additional two damage. 
We had seven glory? You did have seven glory, yeah. Twenty-two okay. damage, Skull. Mm-hmm. I he like upset. <laughs> plays <laughs> his head it now inhabits what used to be his torso area. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. yeah, that's fair. Oh no, you did not push me into this green stuff. <laughs> Will Smith from, like, Independence Day. Um, <laughs> so you guys kind of gather around, gather your, gather your senses. Uh, you find that there are ladders to get back out of the green stuff. And you... I mean, you said it's it's 10 feet deep, right? At push comes to shove, we stand on each other's shoulders <laughs> and we pull the remaining guy up. Like, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> like, the water's edge is, like, just, like, a foot and a half from our, the top of our heads. We're like, yeah, fucking... Uh, it, is, it is 10 feet deep. The uh, platforms are 5 feet above that. Uh, not that that would be very much more... Let's be honest, that's only a problem uh, yeah. for me. It would only be an issue for 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 Alexi, but uh, Alexi was was wise enough not to get into a in, in, into it. I uh, mean, we could just have Gareth jump down and have everybody climb out of the room. Just put a ladder yeah, on the top like, here. I got you guys. Go ahead, go. go. All right, so uh, go ahead and put yourselves into the last room around the last target. And uh, that's actually we're going to take a five-minute break. It is now 8.18. We will eight. be back at 8.23. Copy. So everybody go, you know, whatever you need. God damn it. That's not the right person. Taking care of business. It's all right. <laughs> all right. See you guys soon. Da -da 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 -da. Be right back.
Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, Eddie's camera's off and so it's all fuckity, but that's fine. Uh, you guys are joining us for our Wrath and Glory Warhammer 40k uh, game. We are having a ton of fun as the uh, as our squad of uh, Ordo Xenos Deathwatch Marines learns that being a Marine does not make you immune to power fists. Uh, so you guys have all... That's the way to put it. So you guys have all lined up and over your helmet comms, you hear uh, Inquisitor Sherwin himself. He says, I see a lot more space spring blood than I'm accustomed to seeing. Perhaps you don't have what it takes for the final challenge. I will allow the choice to be uh, made by your uh, group. Wait. Uh, we should get Shang Li uh, patched up. Because <laughs> well, yes, he has less. Yes. Uh, so I will put on, I will remember to put on my, uh, my Narthicarum. <laughs> Narthesium. Narthesium, yes. Thank you. Uh, so it does Latin. say that the DN penalty is decreased by two. Right. Uh, when he. So it's just DN1? That's, no, the DN penalty for DN awesome. in combat is what's decreased. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. okay. So then I'll just... So, get this shot. however, you guys are not currently in combat, so you can also do a lot more healing to each person. You guys oh, can take okay. a little bit to do some healing. Hold on, let me double check here, because it was... Yeah, in oh. combat, you can only... You, you do the little heal. In, out of combat, where you can be like, oh, hold on a second, let me really... Like, let me pay attention here. Yeah. Uh, and if it doesn't work, it's because you're a witch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. So during a regroup, yeah, yeah. they regain a number of wounds equal to your dice pool. Oh. But you can only do it to one character. Oh, well, he got he got banked up the most, I think. So, uh, so my dice pool is nine, it looks like, or... Okay, so Zhang Li heals nine. Do you want to hit anybody else with a with a small heal? <laughs> Brother Ricardo, that this is in the area of your operation. There's a small. I see. No, no, no. Oh. That's that's an in case shit. That's a just in case shit. But oh, let me let me take a look at it. Let me let me let me take a look at it. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Uh, okay. So you heal him for three, and you find the ampule and and cut it out. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay. And then accuse wrote. him of trying to steal it. What? What? What, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> was uh, was something amiss? No, no, no. no, no you allow me to no, stand no, strong, no. like our chief. By the way, after the first room, Tui had walked up to Ricardo and was like, you know, bleeding, and, and like everybody just walked away, and then Tui's just like. <laughs> we'll, we'll blame it on that. He didn't hear him. It's too quiet. No. Am I allowed to heal one more person? Uh, uh, you are. But you, you're, you can heal several people with the little check, but you can only heal one okay, person Tui. with the big check. Okay, Tui, come here. Now, don't say anything if you're feeling better. <laughs> uh, so, Tui, you're going to heal one wound. One wound? Yeah, you right. didn't get any shifts. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, so at this point, like you, you bandaged up people, you've you've done the the spray on uh, uh, armor, hardener to, to everyone. Uh, you guys can Surprise. hear your tech marine spitting nails. Uh, your tech marine, by the way, is a uh, tech marine Leon Stone of the Iron Hands, and uh, he is he is less than thrilled with you guys at the moment. That's a him problem. That's a, that's a him problem. Uh, you know how difficult it is to repair aggressor armor on uh, outside of the uh, outside of the armories. So the uh, comes over your vox beat again, and he says, "Are you see you... the fist light up, and Gareth just starts running for the door." Okay. Where are you? Where are you? As the door, as you run, the door opens, uh, and go ahead and place yourself in the room, and combat begins. Wait, is it? Oh, brother! Right. <laughs> it appears our brother has made the decision. I would for love us. to play. How do I uh, rotate myself face the other uh, way? Shift 
and the mouse wheel. Um, all of us shifting. So, Gareth, <laughs> please put yourself two squares into the room before combat starts. No, 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 dude, get back out of here. Dude. I would love to. <laughs> oh, right, sorry, you can't move yourself. All right, you move to there, and uh, you are actually not going to get to go first this time. Okay. Brother, brother, are we outnumbered? Uh, the... Oh, it is Gene Steelers. Oh, I knew I said he, he okay. says sounding Because hopeful. of course it's Gene Steelers. He says, sound, he says sounding it's, hopeful. It, are we outnumbered? Like 30-something Gene Steelers? So no, we're not outnumbered. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I have concerns. <laughs> you should have concerns. <laughs> it makes perfect sense that you have concerns. Look, look, My look, job look, is look. to make sure you are not concerned. Uh, Go. I, I, I didn't realize that it did that in the chat. I don't know why I would do such a thing. That's lame. Uh, however, you uh, what's your defense? Uh, oh, that's fine. Uh, I, I forget the you Your defense is three. Really? Yeah. You're very easy to hit. It's hard to hurt. <laughs> um, Unless you were like that. It's not about that hard. <laughs> so, Davius, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take four more wounds. I, this would be my first wound. No, you took. Uh... I think you took one earlier. Didn't yeah, you, you took or... one earlier. I knew it was all I thought or nothing. Armor. I thought you said I was doing damage from armor. No, no, no. I told you you didn't get the critical, which would have been broken bones and shit. Ah, okay. You broke your armor instead. All right, so now you guys see that there is. Those of you who are at the light can see one gene stealer in there. Uh, who would like to go first? I'm... He ran in there, so it's only fair say, get him, to let him. Obviously, I want to go first. I'm... Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, fuck, you actually take... Oh, no, I didn't get to do any shifts. Never mind. Stupid thing. All right, so... See anybody besides this dude? Uh, no. I can't see my screen. Uh, no, it is very dark in there. You cannot see what else is going on in there. All right, well, he gets punched in the face hard. Then. If he is the only one that I see, then he gets he's the one that gets punched in the face. That's fair. Uh, power fisty things. Um, I was going to stay dark when we all activate our glow sticks. Uh, I'm going to give, give you guys some light once you do that. So I don't have any rank. We're rank zero, yeah. right? No, you're rank one. All right, all of my things have been at rank none. So do I need to change that? Uh, I don't know. It should be rank. You should be at rank one. So everything under power fist, weapon skill, everything has base, whatever. In the column that says rank, it has none. And then it should my cause any issues with this uh, for right now. Okay. Did I punch at him? You critical. You criticaled him. I don't know if you hit it at him, but you criticaled him. That seems unfair to him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a dirty, filthy gene stealer, but that still feels a little bit. Of, oh, you ain't hit him, but he still took that crit to the face, though. Like, uh, you didn't. You actually did miss him, but you are still gonna hit him with a critical. So go ahead and roll for your critical. Uh, where is the, I can't see that. Oh, right, yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I imagine that what happens is that he misses the punch, but then he, like, backhands him, backhands him. Like the uh, Mike Tyson elbow, like, like the Mike Tyson elbow when he throws the hook, like, the fist part missed, but... Damn. <laughs> Alright, so you actually, you go to hit him, and you see that the g sealer curls up, and you fail to do any actual damage. Huh. Well, that sucks. Rurik, am I able to see uh, a better picture of what's inside um, through the through the aspects and the prey sense goggles? Uh, the prey sense goggles does give you motion. There's currently no motion in there. I thought I had. It does. I thought I, my thingy was. We took a thingy for me with the. Oh, with the we took some. I don't remember. Yeah, I thought my, I we took for you. 
Yeah, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to look at it right for me or for, for him. The glory and counter is stuck in the middle of my screen, and it covers. Uh, sorry. I can't see anything. All right. Like, I can't. Uh, what I want to do here? Just... And I still can't see the the full line. It says you replace a part of your body with the automatic. The common name. You may take this down a more. See augmentics. The GM determines. All right. And it doesn't what my augmentic is. I don't remember what we had chosen. I think we had chosen the one that gave you more wound, uh, more resilience. Probably. Yeah. It says augmentic viscera. Never mind. I found yeah. it. Yeah. You got. You got. You got. You got a uh, cybernetic guts. All right. Yeah. Who wants to go next? Weirdly, I would like to because I I have an All idea. Right, go. What do you got? Oh, actually, give me a perception check. All right. Real quick. I forgot that you were actively. We were just talking about your face goggles, and I did not. And I did not give you an opportunity. So, all right. So, perception, you said. Yeah, I think it's perception. This fucking game. Or is, it or is it investigation? It would be. It would be. Eh, let's go with investigation. I don't know that I like that for you. Like, I don't think that's fair to you. But go, go with investigation. Oh, apparently it's plenty fair to you because you got a thousand dice for it. <laughs> uh, so over in this area, you, you said some sort of motion. So what I would like to do, and I'm not sure how to do this mechanically. This is just, All right, go for it. I don't know, in that system yet. For my combat action, I would like to use the Auspex, which will let me detect uh, life signs within 50 meters, right? That's the, if I forgot to mention, he's got, an entire thing, like, attached yeah, to his he's, head. he's one of those guys. Um, and I think that covers the it room. It does, in fact, cover the room, so go ahead and give me another investigation check to go against the anything in the room so trying to hide. Okay. All right. Okay. So now here's where I want to go with this, and I don't know quick, if though, this is a mechanic I'll option. You know, what you have found is there is a life sign here, a life sign here, and a life sign over here. Can you see those? Um, I see where you pointed. Yeah. Plus the one that is so to in combat with Davis. So total of four is what you found. Total, total of yep. four, correct? Yeah, you roll high enough that you were actually 100% able to catch all of them. Okay. Um, so up, can I, I do a leadership or something challenge okay. to basically do like a small unit tactics coordination, give them the information through the box and let them get some sort of bonus for not getting their shit ripped by gene stealers? Uh, I am totally in favor of something similar to that. Let me see what leadership itself actually does. But at the very least, I, I, I will 100% give you the opportunity to be like, hey, there's four targets in the room. These are their approximate positions, and depending on your leadership role, is how how well you uh, relay that to them. Coordinate. Yes. Yeah. Um. Because there's oh my god, there's four of them versus like target. this one here target alpha. on the left that I'm worried is gonna gonna climb up Gareth's backside. All right. Target so go alpha. ahead and uh, go ahead and roll that leadership. Um, this feels important. I would like to spend some wrath dice on it. Uh, wrath glory, or glory. 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 What, what's the difference? Wrath lets you failures. Wrath lets you reroll. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, how much glory do we have Six. at the moment? Which is the Six. maximum your pool can be. <laughs> so. so two? Two sound reasonable? Sounds reasonable. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. So increase your pool by two. Wow. Uh, so you managed to communicate that there is four in the room and that one is getting ready to ambush Gareth, but uh, the rest is lost. So now how does the reroll thing oh, work? Oh, you can spend one of your wrath and just reroll the whole test. I would like to do right, that. Go, roll again. But you don't get the plus two because... Oh, no, you do reroll the whole test, so you do get the plus two. Reroll dice. There we go. Hey, that's you had cool. one glory right back to the pool. There we go. I don't know if I'm still in the group because I, I didn't see any of those rolls. 
So, so he starts rattling off in guardsman precise language. Four gene stealers, this range, that range, this range, this range, priority is that target, priority is this target. So you guys, as the Space Marines, now also know that there's gene stealers in these four locations. Right. Um, which means that you will be able to target them, and I will reduce the, bl- the fact that you're shooting into the dark by one difficulty. All right. And we have Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta targets, right? No? Yep. All right. Alpha being this one that's in the corner and about to, like... Try run up behind me. This is my whole job, though. I'm supposed to get hit. Like, I'm running ooga booga 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 and stand in front of them while you murder them. All right, so uh, that's the end of Alexi. Hooray, I have been Alexi. That is the end of Alexi's turn. <laughs> There's a reason my ass is all the way back there. <laughs> I have no problem. Look, I love Overwatch. So you guys see one of the gene stealers run across the light and then disappear into the shadows again. Who wants to go next? The scary stealthy guy, maybe? I can go next, yeah. Right. I, I, can, I can also go if nobody else minds, but I will do witchy, witchy stuff. <laughs> Ropes. Uh, Tui, go, uh, go ahead and go next so that when he does his witchy, witchy stuff, he's got more, more targets to protect. Can I move stealthily? Yes, you can. All right. Uh, do you want me to roll stealth? Yes, I do, because it, it will make a difference. These gene stealers are actively looking for targets. They're actively looking for genes. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give them I just genes. remembered that the, uh, the rule should have been awareness. For those finding things. Rules. Uh, I'm going to give them what's in my genes. All right. That's not great. All right. So you you walk in. Go ahead and and, and take your take your movement action. All right. I can deal with awareness. Awareness was only seven oh, dice shit. versus my <laughs> eleven dice investigation. <laughs> he walks he just walks up and closes the door. Okay. <laughs> nah. That's uh, what we'll the gene killer did. He closed the doors like. Boom. Stop that. I seen you, big boy. I seen you. Welcome to the gang, babe. What? Stop nope. right. Stop right there. This guy jumps out of the. Uh... Jumps out, he's seizing the initiative. And is charging you. So, game. So, can he sees me because I didn't roll high enough, I guess. Then. Yes, that is, that is correct. You did not roll high enough. Okay, so Terror Tactics does not trigger. Oh, boy. I mean... So the, compl- so the complication... Oh, his arms fall off. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so that doesn't happen. Oh, roll really again. God damn it. His arms fall off. I'm with him. I like the arms falling off thing. An inconvenient target. Um, something has gone wrong. If strike hits a target... He tries to punch Tui's punch claws. Like he just you know punches like directly. He does actually hit your blade. claws, so he's gonna take one mortal wound himself. Nice. Uh, uh, but he is going to hit you Ooh. for uh, 14 damage with AP3. 14 damage with AP3? Yeah, that's gonna hurt a lot. So I got uh, 10 uh, resilience, so. It's gonna be what? It takes seven damage. Yeah. I guess so. All right, where does that put you at? Uh, ten wounds. Out of sixteen. All right, you, you, you're fine. You, you're good. All right, so now that this guy has charged you, you can continue with your turn. All right, I'm going to uh, stab back at him. How dare you, sir? How about you? Of course, Tui says none of this. I propose counter evisceration for your evisceration. Go. Like ah, I see you are also a man of quality. <laughs> been, uh, man, of man of culture. Man of culture. I also trying, uh, I'm trying to read someone's uh, standard stabbing terms. Uh, I also enjoy the finer things in life. This was lovely. I see Thank you, you eviscerate bitches. I also eviscerate bitches too. <laughs> so that's actually gonna. Uh, just for you and I, that's really funny, by the way. <laughs> 
gonna barely hit you. One hundred percent. Go for damage. All right. So it's gonna be thirteen damage minus one. Uh, so six. So it's gonna be seven damage. All right. He is not looking good. Right. I'm gonna go. Uh, it's not your turn yet. It's it's one of their turns now. Did you? Tui doesn't really like. Did he interrupt? Tweets. It's true. Mm -mm. He got a, a surprise thingy because he it was, was just hiding. Action. While he. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, this guy's so far away, he's just gonna have to, like, fucking walk his happy ass up. Alright. <laughs> Seven star, you're up. Oh, tell him to wait. I'll be over there in a second. <laughs> go here. And I'm here. gonna go collect his ass. I'm about to do my best casino impersonation. <laughs> Brother, let us unleash fury on this foul beast. Oh, uh, that will actually miss. Uh, I can re-roll one of these dice, because it's the chapter crate, actually. All That's right, what it does. So -roll. It's, uh, it's basically, I have to hope for a, a twofer. How do I re-roll? Just roll round on d6, I guess, right? Uh, oh, you can actually click on it in the chat and then click re-roll selected. Uh, or you can re-roll all failed, which is minus one Wrath of Ruin. I'll just re-roll all failed. Cause, yeah. uh, again, just, just putting it out there. I personally, anytime you feel like you need to... Oh yeah, that's what happened. All right. That's good. Um, Sure. Anytime anybody feels like they need to use dice pools to re-roll stuff, I, my vote is always going to be yes. Like, don't I don't have any problem with it. Yeah. Uh, and with the shift is uh, 20 damage, right? She cool. is dead. He is, he is, yeah, a lot of the dead. Not just dead, like limp and flying through the air is dead. Like. So describe your kill. You charge around the corner to the guy. This one, yeah, I'm charging him. I like let the mall drag and spark across the floor, and I just like golf swinging upwards into the ceiling. Anime like, dress just a signs splatter. going off and yeah. clout, kick, clout, kick. Ah! <clears throat> Hitting with the Sagat, <laughs> the tiger uppercut. <laughs> so I'm also giving those of you with power weapons uh, light fields in case you haven't seen. That looks dope as fuck. I just realized that if, since he already had one damage on him, that makes me uh, hungry, so I can reroll all my failed dice when attacking him. That would have been very helpful. That's awesome. I'll, know, I'll remember that for the next one. All right, Ricardo and Zhang Li, you guys are all that's left. Uh, go ahead and move up, brother Ricardo. I'll, I'll take the last position. All right, Ricardo, where are you going? I lost Ricardo. Oh, no. Yeah, we lost somebody on the stream. On the meantime, I shall I shall now go instead. Then, <laughs> in, in that case, uh, brother Zhong Li is going to move up here. Here. All right, stop right there. And oh, oh I'm getting assaulted. It's getting a bad touch. <clears throat> going to touch you in your no no places, brother. Brother, I am hit. I cannot wait. I, I cannot wait to see a Bane Blade, uh, even if it's an allied Bane Blade, so I can start screaming about the Bane Blade. Oh, no, we're really... It's okay. You're gonna be looking at a lamppost, and then behind the lamppost is a Bane Blade because Creed. So. All right. So. Oh, he rerolled. Okay. <laughs> I, I I would assume that hits. That does hit. Just display it. Uh. You suffer one mortal wound. Ah, the flea spleen. And then you're gonna take Ouch. Uh, 20 damage with AP neg five. God, neg five. That's the fucking brood lord. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that puts me at six. That take. I'm take. I'm taking 12 wounds. I went from being at full health to uh, four wounds left. I think that. Uh, Ricardo healed you. Brothers! <laughs> Alright, next round. 
Brothers uh, Al. Should I not finish oh, my sorry. turn? Yes, please finish your turn. My bad. He figured. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm. Hmm. Good. I was gonna put up the fire shield, but I think I just need to, to, to destroy him I, I, before he hits me again. Before he hits me again. I am going to hit him with my four staff. Right, go. Hopefully. Uh, that Is this? There we go. Hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Turn him to paste. It's going to be uh. Twenty damage with AP of one. Twenty damage with AP of one, which I think. Even when it was just at one AP. Yeah. Stop assisting. Is there a step out of car, sir? Please step out of the car. All right. <laughs> so, uh, mm -mm. I am going to absolutely steal the initiative, and uh, this gene stealer is going to hit Gareth. And again, and again, and again, and again. Not hard to do. I'm standing right, Sean. All right, so he is going to hit you. Mm-hmm. For 14 damage with negative 4 AP, which is Ooh. still not enough to get through you because... <laughs> Brother! Ooh. What up, close? He's Ooh. just like, he hits you with everything he's got. And you're just like, you're messing up the paint, bro. Like, that was... I was cool. I saw that. I see you. I see that. All right. Who wants to go first? So is is this that well, his no, he has is so gone. high he just keeps shrugging yeah. off the attack? Yeah. Billions is twenty. Yeah. Oh, Eddie's not back on the stream. Okay. Eddie is not back. Uh, no. no. Yeah, he's... Eddie looks like he lost for real the internet. Oh. Yeah, he said his network reset. Oh, okay. He's on his way back. Oh. oh. Well, at least he's at least he's on his way back. They sent him to Brazil. Uh, to Brazil. <laughs> Davis, do Brazil. You, want, you, want, you want first turn? Uh, I mean, do you want to just take a turn for him and, and finish? Because he never got to go last time. Uh, no, I'm, I'm leaving his. Uh, if you guys need, if you guys were losing, I would, uh, I would go ahead and take okay. his turn. But you guys are doing all right. Uh, uh, so let, let's let Chewie, uh, you know, like one of these stab them. I think it's he should what? get his chance. I, what to... I will stab. I want to describe what I want to try and do. You so tell me if it's doable. All right. I want to reach out, grab the back, some part of him, and the gun, the gun fist, punch him with it. All right. And shoot. Yeah, I mean okay, that's like, a, that's that, that's that's all what RP. I Let's see how like you you do. So what say. do I need to do dice wise? Like how do I how, how do I do that? Fist. Like, We're gonna call that power okay. fist. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I can hit that button. I, that that I can do. That one I can hit. I can find out. Can you close the glory uh, thing again? Close it. I never closed it. The glory ruin counter or whatever. I moved it. So that will help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is in the way of all of my things. All right. There you go. It did not move where I'm at. Ah. All right. That's not good. You have to move that on your own version. Yeah, I found person there's a little. All right. I'm gonna move my character in the upper hand corner and open it again and. Where is my... Oh, there it is. We will power fist him. I go. Uh, that will actually miss. Would you like to spend a Wrath reroll? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, so I... I okay. Uh, that did not make it any better. You still missed. That's terrible. <laughs> So, can I, I can't, oh, I should have increased the dice pool first. Okay. Yeah. All right, Tui, you're up. We did pretty good on our weapon. Okie dokie. Hmm, that's interesting. This is... Let us do the, the shooty shoot. I mean, you got the one right next to you. Yeah. I am literally going to, like, you know, cartel assassinate this guy. Wreck a blam right next to where I go. Actually, I have a dual wield, so I can stab and shoot. Yes, him. you can. Uh, the way that works is it's a multi attack The DN goes up by two. Although if you have dual wield, I think it goes down by one again. Wait, it goes down by two, five, so I don't seven, take any DN. DN was five. Uh, no, the DN is six on these guys. Dual wielder reduces the DN by two. Okay, so go ahead. So it's like a regular attack, I guess. Okay.
Valley. Nice. Very nice. There you fucking. All right, so go ahead and roll damage. Does he just add damage dice together, or does she just add both flat numbers of damage? Hold on, I'm, I'm reading here. No, what's this one? Combine attack, there we go. I know that's if you're trying to do multiple attacks at once. Give me a second. This is the, the thing of learning new... New systems. New systems. You gotta real, read the rule book, which is, you know, bullshit as is. Who has time to read? Fuck it, just go ahead and add the damage of your pistol as ED, as extra dice. Okay, what is the damage of my pistol? Probably like 10 or 12, something like that. It's just 10 extra dice, just... Looking at the pistol... Damage, 10, yeah. So, plus 10 ED. 10 ED? They, they have a pill for that. Uh, go ahead and no, roll wait, 10 extra uh, dice. Uh, 10 extra dice. How do I do that? Just uh, do I just roll? Yeah. Down to the little chart dealy, you can click. We just lost Davis, too. Oh, oh I'm just, right here. Just in, just in the other thing. Oh, uh, all right. I I will make sure one, that I'm at work where I can use the laptops there because this is all right. I'm the uh where I'm actually in a real seventy damage. Uh, so he's gonna take eleven. So you hit him. Oh, plus your shifts. Yeah. Plus thirty seven. Like, he he ended up with one wound left. I was like, oh, he lives. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Mr. Gene Stealer is no, no here. <laughs> Mr. Gene Stealer. No. All right. So my turn. Gene Stealer runs up and is gonna hit Gareth. You do that. Yes. Yes. You focus on me. <laughs> I want to see Gareth clap. Just like two power fist and then just like all right to trying to shove the gun in his face and shoot him didn't work that's the next move that is the next thing we just the hulk the old hulk john just or the or oh the cool one from like the one from marvel versus capcom where he like jumps and, just... and yeah it does the thing yeah or grab both his arms and say make a wish <laughs> and just fucking tear uh you yes. take 14 mi with a minus 4 AP, which is still not enough to get through you. <laughs> he tried so Sorry. hard. Sorry, man. Got so far, but it doesn't end. even matter. Wow. The 90s call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I think I'm learning how multi-attack works. You just roll two attacks with the extra DN for next time. Oh. Uh, the gene okay. there's also have multi-attack, but for I, I didn't let you do it. I'm not gonna go ahead and do it myself. Uh, all right, we got yeah. Lexi, we got Ricardo, and we got we got Semitar, and we got Jean Lee left to go. We should let Ricardo, you know, earn some glory. He's been chilling out there in the back, like almost like we we <laughs> lost his connection to the Empire. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Alexi, you want to take a shot? Or Zhongli? Or Sevatar? Who's in? I'll happily do it in case nobody... Right. You know. Yeah, go for go it, dude. I did my cool thing. I will step forward and attempt to unmake him. Unmake him. Preferably in a brutal fashion. Alright, roll. It's... It's Warhammer 40k, is there any we other... Are, we are... Are there other guys. options? So right-click on your die, and click reroll. Wrath, and it will send your wrath for you. Uh, oh, there it is. Um, do I have to reroll? Fail. There we go. Oh, oh. There you go. But okay. So remember how I was unmaking him? All right, really critical hit. He is a full health, so he might survive. 
You don't even believe that. Oof. Like you, and then got a headshot. Um, I'm not so sure. I you, know. you don't. As optimistic as you are, Rick, you don't even believe that. So he takes two more. 18 moves. damage, AP one with three hit, three shifts as well. So 21 damage, AP one would make it 20. Yeah. Uh, would make it. Nope, he did. And two more. Yeah, he did. He, you know, he tried. <laughs> he did. Shalin removes the head with the staff. He's like, they're powerless without their heads. <laughs> Who knew? No, no, again, it's, it's it's like it's like um, it's like the staff is one of those like, I don't know, like one of those fire poking sticks, and he's just like starting a fire inside their soul. I totally forgot to switch the map view, so our our viewers did not get to see the map for that whole fight. I'm a jackass. Oh no. Sorry, guys. But they are now dead. They saw our rolls, and, you know, that's, uh... The important part is that they saw that they are dead, and we are not. So... Even though I'm very close. So you guys finish up, and as you get back to the front room, Inquisitor Serwin is there. Wasn't there a fourth one, or did we kill all four of them? Yep, yep, yep. So, when you guys get back to the front room, the Inquisitor's there, and he says, It's a good thing that you are Ordo Xenos, and not Ordo... Kill combat servitors. <laughs> you were substantially more successful against gene stealers than against the most basic of imperial servitors. We were merely working off our rust. Time spent in this bucket in transit does not bode well for our skills. He says, I would suggest then you spend more time in training. However, there is time for that another day. We have arrived in orbit over the planet Stankplus, and it is currently under attack by orcs. I'm taking orcs. I'm taking Kill Team Alpha down. I have noticed some strange single signals. You are to remain here unless the hell jumpers tell you to, to go down. Uh, Major Maddox oh. will let you know what your next mission is. And so he leaves. Um, what are you guys going to be doing? You guys have 24 hours right now to kill? Um, I'm a re reporting to the Medicaid. <laughs> <laughs> I have four wounds left. Uh, Two years as that well. seems like a good plan. So but first, you... he's going to be eyeing the gene stealers and like rubbing his chin, you know, thinking like they're kind of human ish. Is this kosher? Like, am I allowed? No, no, it's it's lobster. Uh, oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. On the way out, he rips a couple of limbs and snacks on them on the way. Brother, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like that everyone's all worried about Zhang Li, who is an imperial sanctioned psyker. And again, you see the eyebrow, and I look at the Inquisitor. <laughs> uh, you see that the that Sterwin doesn't care, but understand that Kill Team Alpha has a brazen Minotaur, who are almost world eaters, and a black dragon who are really mutated. Well, that's a Minotaur here. Yeah. Whenever I see him, we fist bump. <laughs> like. Uh, Sterwin is clearly not what we call a Puritan Inquisitor. Uh, he is, he's, he's definitely a radical, and uh, he, he, he has no issue using unorthodox methods to win. Um, you, you, don't, you still don't understand how it's happening, but you can clearly see Garrup hugging his beard through his helmet. Like, he is just like... It's coming out through the fucking uh, ma the box area, like the mouth <laughs> like, grills. <laughs> um, so, because uh, Eddie has not managed to return, rather than starting the next encounter, I'm actually going to call it a little bit early tonight. Okay. Um, because Sorry, guys. I 100% missed that uh, it started at 6.30. I'll be on time next time. Sorry. Uh, you know, you're, you've always been on time. I know that it's... I, I, that's why I messaged you. I'm like, oh, something's got to be wrong. Um... I hope those of you watching really enjoyed the stream. This is our first game. Uh, we will be back two Thursdays from now, which will be... Okay, I'll be in University of Miami that week. So um, I should still be able to play. Um, I just have to remember to be in, in the... Uh, I have to. I don't. I have not been to that campus yet, so I don't know what our lab looks like. Uh, but I'll be down there. It should be 
August fourth. Yeah, August fourth right? will be the next session for this game. <laughs> next week will be uh, on the twenty eighth. Will be four brothers as we continue our our journey through Drakenheim. Monday will be the continuation of Land of Ice and Snow as we try and finish up Tier Two, and they try and save Bin Hala from the Spartolfer. Uh, uh, Kasim is uh, swiggy swoody coming for that banner's booty. Is this where we ended up <laughs> that that fight? Oh, that. It's going to happen. Oh, and Delvin is, is now scarred. Like, if he ever sees anything remotely resembling a succubus again, he... <laughs> uh, ah, that was so funny. And not I like, so the best part about that entire encounter, Dave, uh, Davis, was that you're like, man, I should not chase that dwarf down that tunnel. And then you chase the dwarf down the tunnel. And then you saw the naked lady skinning the dwarf, and you're like, I should not mess with that lady. And then you're like, but, I'm going to stab But I can't not. Like, if I leave, I know what happens. Like, I, this, is, right. this is going to be so bad, but I can't not kill her now. Like, if I go away like I should, and we have no idea what she, she's going to look like a dwarf, and we're, we're all screwed. And for me, oh, the kicker hurt was, so the, for me, the kicker was when you decided to seduce the succubus. So, it was so, like, hey, so normally the DC for that is, is 15. You would have passed the charm check. I put a penalty on it because you were already trying to seduce her. So you were already, like, in that general direction. Mm -hmm. I, 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 felt like, I felt like you were halfway there already. And she was like, because, all right, so what happened was I tried to, to, to catch her, like, with my sneak attack and missed because I rolled a four and a one. And so I was trying to run the deception check, like, to... Be like, oh no, I wasn't trying to stab you. I was just overcome by your sexy nakedness. And she was like, oh really? All right, that makes sense. Come on over here. And I was like, all right, I guess I will. Oh god, half my seventy-five percent of my hit points gone. Which, that drained you know, soul is no joke. That tends to happen when there are certain kinds of creatures involved. And she scared me, so I did fifty-five damage in a row. Like, she ah, get off me. Thank uh, you, Dagger. Oh, so, uh, yeah, so, so that's the schedule as we've got it coming up. Um, much love to everybody. As always, say goodnight, Gracie, and we will see goodnight, you all Gracie. soon. Goodnight. Goodnight, everybody. Thank you for inviting me. This was a blast. I'll see, see you in two weeks.